hello, welcome to my stream. Tonight we'll play more of Tales of Symphonia. And yesterday we were able to break another seal. Uh, this time it was the Seal of Wind uh, after beating the Mausoleum Dungeon. And after that we learned a little bit more about what has been going on with Colette, which has been very weird, strange and even disturbing. Uh, she has been losing her senses and she has been becoming kind of a cold person because she can't eat anymore, she can't sleep anymore, and now she can't feel pain anymore. So she has been going through some very weird things and I'm concerned that the more we progress in this game, the, le the less alive she will feel like. But let's see how that's going to be like after breaking all the seals uh, we could find the place that has the next one that's the tower of mana although it's closed uh, we need to find a way to open the tower in order for us to get inside of it and also we could find another city that's called Luwin but that city was totally destroyed by the Zions and the Zions they captured the villagers and they are keeping them in the range right in Asgard's in Asgard's range. So right now we were able to wear some disguises or some costumes and we were able to infiltrate that base, uh, that range. And tonight the biggest plan is going to finish it, to finish that dungeon. And then I'm expecting that we will also be able to find a way to get inside the Tower of Mana. And depending on how things go, we may even be able to beat it tonight, hopefully. So let's see how those things will go like. Also, I'm hoping that the game will run alright, the stream is going to be alright, so let's go for it. Yes, we were able to get to the first save point of this place, but we still need to do everything in here. We were able to meet the, 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 the leader of this range, uh, I believe his name was Kvar, and he reminded me a lot of the Happy Mask Salesman from Majora's Mask which was kind of weird and also we met Bota in here as well but maybe Bota has changed his ideals and his objectives because it seems that he's not working with the desires anymore I believe he's trying to do something by his own so we also need to find him again and ask him more questions about what he has been going uh, what he has been going through right but anyways let's do our job in here let's Maybe have some more fights and explore. The game is a little bit One slow right now, but I'm I'm hoping it's only for this beginning. Yeah, the the battle seems alright. are no big deal to, to fight us. Don't get I don't know if we are over leveled or if they are really weak. But sure, if this sword man wants to fight me, hey Victor, how are you doing now? Yeah, we are in Asgard's human range, we are just starting it. 
just warm it up. And I was saying that I'm thinking the enemies in here are so easy, they are not a threat. So I was wondering if I was over leveled or if they are really that weak. Progressing nicely, you see? I hope so. Uh, depending on how hard this place is going to be for us, maybe we can even start the Tower of Mana dungeon because I know where it is located, but it's closed. I'm doing alright too, man. I had a good, a good day, a good Sunday. Although I'm feeling a little bit of neck ache, but it's not strong. It's not hurting too much. So I'm doing alright. Maybe it's because when I went to bed yesterday, I felt like I slept very fast what? after laying what on my this? bed. So that's great in my opinion because I didn't have any sleeping problems. But maybe because it was so fast, I didn't have a good posture and then I woke up with a little bit of neck kick. But I don't mind it. I prefer sleeping well than a, a simple and weak neck kick. Uh, what is this? Well, that's... I was making some solid green jokes yesterday, but now the joke is intensified. This is where the x rays are removed from the host bodies. Wait, they are removed? Wait a second, but don't they need to have those x spheres on their bodies so they can turn berserk? Wait. Not exactly. X spheres are dormant at first. They extract nourishment from humans to grow and awaken. Human ranches are X sphere manufacturing plants. Why else would we spend our time raising and taking care of these inferior beings? Okay, so now I finally understand. Why the, the human ranches are important to the designs? Because so far I was kind of lost about it. Why do they need to have those humans in their possession? So it's because they are using them to power the axis spheres. That's terrible! Terrible? Terrible is what you've done. Oh yes, what have we done? I want to know. Stealing and using X spheres and we've invested so oh. much time and care. Really? You are upset because of that? You deserve to be punished. No. You are going down. Don't be afraid of those minions. They are... Come on, Lloyd. We are better than those guys. Lloyd, your x was to be an offering to Lord Eudrasian. You wish. It's time you gave it back. Eudrasian. I suppose that's the name of your leader. I only now realize that that name has two L's. That's weird because I always thought that Yggdrasil was spelled with a single L. Yes. Now, for the sake of our great leader, Lord Yggdrasil, and for the sake of my own success, I need an x -rayer. Can we please fight them? I want to defeat them so badly. Again? What's so special about my x -fear? Maybe it is because it has been getting your powers, since they are just saying that they use humans to power those exospheres, so basically that one is getting your powers, and maybe your powers are very good ones? That is the result of years of time-consuming research. I can finally reclaim what was stolen by that filthy female host body. Okay, now he's talking about our mother, right? What was it stolen by that filthy female host party? Wait, did our mother die because of the axis spheres? For example, the axis sphere. Oh, maybe this is what happened actually. Uh, the axis sphere that we have now used to be in our mother, and then for some reason our mother died because of it, but we were able to keep it with us. What are you talking about? The female host body? You're not talking about... Yes, he is. Hmm. You don't know anything, do you? Right, Victor? 
Lady Xphere was cultured on host body A012. Human name, Anna. Your mother. She took it and escaped from the facility. Of course, she paid for her crime with her life. Wait, so maybe... Maybe she was not killed or... She hasn't died because of the access fear? Because they are saying she took it and escaped from the facility, so I can't imagine that she used it on herself. You killed my... Now, now, don't blame me. No, I'm not the one who killed her. Your father did. Liar! Who? Is our father. Breathe. When her key crestless X fear was removed, Anna turned into a monster. Wait, so. So. So our father. put the access fear on her body? And hi, sorry, how's it going, man? I'm still trying to understand this. Let's see what else he's going to say. And your father killed her. Pathetic, don't you think? Maybe... No, no, no. Maybe not. Maybe our father killed her. Hi, Joe Dancing. How's it going? How's... How's everyone's weekend? Maybe our father... Only... Killed her, killed her because he had to. Since she turned into a monster. But I want to know how the Axis Fear... Was... Put inside her body, that's what I'm not understanding. Yes, I finally got my haircut. Uh, usually takes me from two to three months to have my haircut. And this week was a very eventful week. Uh, lots of things happened. And because of that I decided to, to finally have my haircut. It was like the best timing for me to have it. So now I will wait uh, some three months before doing it again. Do not speak ill of the dead. I usually have my hair cut very short, so it takes longer for it to grow again or to get some more volume again. <laughs> and by the way, uh, Joe Dancing and Surrey, to me, this character right here, Kvar, he's just like the happy mask salesman from Majora's Mask. Maybe he's his father. Who cares? We're both just a couple of filthy humans. Worthless maggots. Thank you, Joe Dancing. It's always the same when I have it, but I appreciate it. Oh, Sheena wants to join us now. Your weekend has been very chill. My weekend has been chill as well. Although I did have a bad Friday, uh, I felt really depressed on Friday. That's why I didn't want to be streaming. But thank goodness that this weekend has been much better. Uh, I have been feeling much, much better. I'm going to use the last one, Grandpa. Wait, what's going on? Oh, she's summoning the personas again. And she saved us? Wait, but we didn't need her help. We could beat them. Your order, sir. Maybe this is the payback. Maybe she's rescuing us because we saved her life too, so that's her way to uh, pay us back, right? But we could totally handle them. Come on, I'm not scared of those guys. You just made some split pea soup? Uh, sometimes you like to challenge yourself by just cooking what you have in your cupboard. That's good. That's good for you to try new things out, to try new dishes. Um, this weekend I bought um, a lot of Brazilian snacks. I even posted a picture on Twitter. And yesterday I was showing them on stream as well. 
but it was delicious and I like that. Uh, they they were with a very good price. They were with an offer that I, I I could pay the price of four and then get five of those. But the bad thing about buying them is that my the, the food that I eat is going to be trashy, right? Uh, during this time. So basically, I'm I'm feeling a little bit sad that I'm not eating healthy food yesterday or today but I will do my best for tomorrow to go back to normal and healthy food it, they were not croissants, it's different, it's not the same taste of the dough uh, as croissants I don't know how to explain but I know that once I was talking about those snacks with Emily she, know, she knew uh, a word I believe in Spanish that refers to that dish in the US and in some countries but I don't remember how it's called anymore but it's not a croissant, it's a very hard thing for me to describe exactly, but it's like a hard bread. But the thing is that you don't open the bread, uh, you don't slice the bread like a sub to add the, the seasonings or the, the fillings. You bake the bread with those things already inside of it. And they are very good. Uh, they are very common in here, uh, any place you go that sells snacks, you can definitely find those. Those and others as well, there are some other very popular snacks in here. I can show you some pictures uh, right now. Uh, when I had that stream on my birthday, uh, which was in February, I showed some of those snacks on stream because I bought them. And I would say that some of those snacks are like Arabian uh, snacks. But there is also this one that's super popular here, although I'm not a big fan of this one. But I wonder if you guys have ever seen it. In Portuguese, they are called Isfija. Usually they are chicken. Uh, they are chicken snacks. So those ones are also very popular. Uh, you can find them in many places. But I'm not a big fan of those. Because they are usually chicken snacks. And I'm not a big fan of chicken. But you can also find meat ones. That one that I showed is the it is the closed version of the Sfiha, but you can also buy open ones that I prefer, which are these ones. They look like mini pizzas, but the dough is completely different than a pizza. You have not heard of those? I always tell you that Brazilian food is a universe. Uh, we have a whole universe in here that I hardly see elsewhere. Uh, here's a picture of one of those snacks open. And like I told you, it's usually chicken. But there are many other ones. Uh, the one from yesterday is like one of my favorites. There is also the famous coxinha, which is basically the one that everybody loves. But this one is my favorite, which is kibi. We have talked about this one as well. This one is my favorite. I love this so much. It's like a meatball, but it's fried and it has some seasonings that are very fresh. Uh, I believe that even mint could be a seasoning for this or cilantro. It's so good. It's so damn good. I can eat those non-stop and those are the ones that I was eating in my birthday. I love those so much. It's one of the few meat dishes that I really love. I'm trying to find a picture of one of those. Oh, look at this picture. This picture is awesome. It has like the collection of those snacks in here. You have the coxinha, you have the kibe, you have the one from yesterday, and you have a fourth one. Those snacks you can easily find in here. They are all together in there. And they are very good. Uh, depending on your personal taste, one may be 
better than the other one. And you can also find them in birthday parties in tons of small and tiny versions of them, like this box here, for example. Those were the ones I was eating in my birthday, the tiny ones. So you go to a birthday party, you find millions of those things, those tiny things, and then you keep eating them like potato chips. That's how's life in Brazil. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Yeah, we have a whole universe of snacks like those. And then we also have a whole universe of corn dishes, uh, also corn desserts that are very common in this time of the year. For example, one of the things I, I did in this week was going to one of the June parties that are traditional parties that have many and delicious dishes and food. I post the pictures of them on Twitter as well, if you're curious. And some of those dishes were corn dishes, but especially corn desserts. And I was so happy to finally eat again the white cinnamon clover corn dessert that I love. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, it's like a not a soup, but it's like a very liquid uh, dessert. But it has the corn pieces. Uh, on it and it's so good to eat everything together it's so good it really frustrates me that in in the US for example you guys have a lot of corn production so you have tons of corn but when I talk about corn desserts don't nobody gives me one so that's so frustrating to me because in here the corn desserts are so damn good I can think on at least three names of corn desserts that are in Brazil without thinking pamonha coral and canjica the one that i ate this week so i really hope someday you guys look for some recipes of corn desserts because they are delicious they are very good so yeah that was the the food talk let's go back to this plot part right of the game you take we the sam sample time. platter, oh, please. <laughs> it's really, really good. You guys should also try finding some YouTube videos of people reacting to those snacks, those Brazilian snacks. There are tons of videos on YouTube. Uh, you can put their, I don't know, uh, foreigners trying Brazilian food or Brazilian food react. Some, some things like that. And then you'll be able to see more about those dishes and to see in the foreigners' words, the description of those dishes, right? Because they may be able to relate those dishes to dishes that are closer to you than the Brazilian ones. So it's also another thing that I recommend. And by the way, Victor, there is something that I want to recommend to you in particular, because I was watching it yesterday and I was having so much fun. I, I was watching this before going to bed. I found this YouTube video of streamers reacting to the Banjo Kazooie trailer on Smash Brothers. I was only watching the YouTubers' reactions, uh, so I was only watching like people on YouTube that were reacting to it. But then I found one video on YouTube that made a compilation of people on Twitch or doing live streams uh, reacting to the Banjo Kazooie trailer. And man, I found one that was so fun. I, I would even say that the, their reactions were much better than the people from YouTube. And it was like part three. So I still need to watch the part two and one, but I will definitely do it because I had so much fun by watching it. It is very fun, guys. I, I felt so happy to see other people happy and getting trolled by the trailer or feeling lost or feeling like this is not real. Is this a dream? Is it really happening? It, it's so powerful. It's very, very good. That concludes food talk for now. I will probably be feeling hungry later because, I, as I said, I'm not, I'm not feeling that I ate um, healthy food this weekend. So I, I feel my body a little bit weird because of that. Uh, I feel that I will be feeling hungry soon. I'm thinking that I will be eating some fruit. Uh, I will try to eat some fruit after the stream, maybe an apple. Uh, right now, the more pertinent task is retrieving the access spheres. Find the renegades. 
Thank you, Sheena. Sheena, I appreciate it, but we really didn't need it. We could beat them down right now. Don't mention it. But what are you gonna do now? Let's return to Lewin first. I concur. Okay. Well, that's sad because I was really hoping to finish this dungeon, but it seems that we gotta plan ourselves before doing anything. Uh, Joe Dancing, were you following the E3 news? And if you were, what were your impressions of it? I hope that you have watched the Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer, right? Uh, let me try to remember where was Luin. I know it's close by. This is gonna be a piece of cake! it is on the map but how can I get there and by the way I also need to read the summary right this direction don't get too comfortable There it is. Okay, let's see if we can talk more to Shina or maybe to the old man. I can't believe X spheres are made from human lives. So they said that they are not made from human lives, but they get power from human lives. This is Marble's life. <gasps> this thing! You know what this reminds me a little bit of? Harry Potter. Lloyd is just like Harry Potter. Exactly that line is why he's Harry Potter. But these things make a mockery of human life. 
but we would have lost long ago had we not had them. Don't you think so, Surrey? Don't you think I know that? Do you really? If you throw away that X fear now, do you think you can finish this journey? No way. Yeah, I know. Without these things, we're just a bunch of It is of a funny humans. comparison. I was thinking that it felt like Harry Potter. I mean, it's not the same thing because Harry Potter's case is more complicated than this. But this thing about, oh, my mother sacrificed my uh, her life to save me and to protect me and then now I kind of carry her uh, her life's wish with me. It's kind of this uh, it goes around the same lines. We can fight because we have these. I know that. Speaking about Harry Potter, I was watching a video before starting the stream that was like the top 20 uh, movie lines or quotes that they really are remarkable. Like if you hear the quote, you know which movie it is from and everything. I was surprised that there was no Harry Potter line on it, especially that one from Hagrid. You are a wizard, Harry. <laughs> I was expecting to see it in the list, but no, it was not in there. We did get the the Gandalf one fr uh, from the Lord of the Rings. Uh, you shall not pass. But I was expecting that you are a wizard, Harry, to be on it. You think it? You think because it's a name drop? Well, the, yeah, there is a name on it, but there was another line in there, but I don't remember which one, because it was from a movie that I have never watched, that had names as well. And speaking about that, the number one line, or quote, was one very famous, but it seems that people remember and refer to it wrong. And I was surprised by that, because it was the Star Wars one, like, look, I'm your father, but that's not how the quote or the line is in the movie. It is something like, no, I'm your father. It seems that the, that, that thing original. It is, yeah, no, I'm your father, correct? But then everyone says, like, uh, look, I'm your father. A and I always thought it was like that one, because I still need to watch that movie. I know, right? But yes, it surprised me. So I just learned that the, the quote from Star Wars is usually remembered wrong. The Mandela effect? Is that the Mandela effect? I have heard of that, but I don't remember what exactly was the Mandela effect. Uh, it, is it like memories that we remember incorrectly? And then we assume they are true. Is that something about that? Why does everyone think it says, look, I'm your father? Yes, me. I was one of those people. When a large group of people remember something that's clearly wrong. But the group that remember it swear by it. Yeah, right? It doesn't even make sense in context. Well, that was something that happened to us. We need to see... Who started with it, right? Who started the rumors of "Look, I'm your father," and then there were some some other quotes as well. But some of them were from movies that I have never watched, like Casablanca and stuff. But then we also had um, the Sixth Sense, of course. I see that people. We also got um, Terminator's quote, "I'll be back." Although I was expecting him to say "Hasta la vista, baby." But no, they got I'll be back. It was a very interesting list. Although I was expecting some other quotes to be on it, but they were not. Uh, Titanic's one as well. Uh, I'm the king of the world! And such things. There was also Forrest Gump. Um, Apocalypse Now. And, and some other movies. I think it's said like that when you are not watching the movie to add extra conte context outside of the scene. That's true, if you only say, no, I'm your father, it doesn't have a lot of context, right? And hi, Drew, how's it going, man? Uh, how's your Sunday? I was just having a short talk about some movie quotes that uh, 
maybe they are remembered incorrectly, but everyone assumed that they are right. For example, the one from Star Wars that it's like, look, I'm your father, but then in the movie it's not look, I'm your father, it's just no, I'm your father. So I was just sharing that uh, today because I learned it just before starting the stream. It's a very lazy Sunday, nice to hear, man. It's good to have lazy days. I also have, or I also had a very lazy Sunday. Although yesterday I think I went to bed and then I slept super fast. And something happened that I, I'm feeling a small neck ache. But thank goodness I could still sleep great or sleep very well. So this neck ache is nothing if I can keep sleeping alright. I prefer sleeping well instead of having um, or bothering a neck ache. But it's weak, it's not uh, bothering me that much. So yeah, the day has been very lazy as well, man. But did you know that the quote from Star Wars is not Luke, I'm your father? I learned that today, I was shocked by that. Uh, we can fight because we have these, I know that. But x exist as a result of taking someone's life. And? Those people didn't become victims because they wanted I to. just had a... Uh, an insight right now. What if... This whole thing that's going on with Colette is related to this talk right now about Axis Fears. What if the main reason why Colette has been kind of becoming a living dead has something to do with her powering an Axis Fear? And then that Axis Fear is what's going to save the world, but in exchange of her own life, because that's what x spheres do. I won't be surprised if that's what's going to happen in the future, because right now I got that insight. You have been snacking on some spicy corn snack sticks and chilling? Corn snack sticks? What's a corn snack stick? It's not a... A corn on a cob, right? I had a corn on a cob the, uh, this week. That's an interesting thought? Hmm. I, I have the feeling I'm getting there then. Because we were learning that Colette has been losing her life energy. And then those things, they are getting powered by life energy. So, connection time, maybe? So, I think I'm on point in there. So let me see, uh, corn sticks. Although nobody, wait. Oh my God. I was just thinking if, if that was the case, she would be carrying an axis sphere, right? But she doesn't. Although. She has the necklace that they were saying that necklace was only worn by the goddesses. Maybe that's the axis sphere. <laughs> if that's what's really happening, I'm going to start a investigation company and become a detective. That's my destiny. Uh, let me see. A uh, corn. In a stick. Maybe it is uh, 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 what I'm thinking. Like, it is the corn. Oh, it's... What? Uh, is it those things? I don't know if I have had those things before, but maybe they do look like one snack that I have had before. But I don't know if that snack that I had was corn. I don't. I, I never thought it was corn. I thought it was I don't know flour. Oh, you sent me a picture. <laughs> I love the name of it, like Churritos! <laughs> Fuego! Be careful, Drew. 
Those are on fire, man. By the way, Drew, how how much have you been eating those Korean noodles? Um, have you still been eating them? The Korean noodles? I use it to love those. It's kind of, but thinner. My computer is complaining about the sour, please, but don't worry, it hasn't been um, breaking the stream like before. In transistor, though, in transistor, it causes more trouble. In, in Tails, my computer can handle it. No, 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 don't need to be sorry. Uh, this is the game that I think you guys are alright to, to use it. This and maybe Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's also advertising. It's not, wait, it's not too spicy? So you think it, they, they were just, um, I don't know, uh, trying to to get people to buy it, but in the end it's not too spicy for you? Maybe because you got some resistance thanks to the Korean noodles. It, it's false advertising, I see. I doubt they would want to be thrown away after being turned into x spheres. By the way, Drew, I have been getting addicted on paprika. I don't know if you eat many food that has paprika, but I tried using paprika on, on my rice and also on my pasta sauce. I will be buying that thing forever because I really love the results. And I was really surprised because I never imagined that paprika would be nice on rice. And it was. I only decided to add it on there because I was checking the cover of the plastic that had the sauce, that had the paprika. And they were saying it in there. You should use this on uh, meat, blah, 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 pasta and rice. And, I, and then I was like, rice? Okay, here it goes. It was so good in the end. It even added some reddish color to the rice. It was beautiful. So now I will be cooking my rice with um, carrots, because I love rice and carrots, paprika, and then the other thing that I think it's called parsley. Hopefully I'm using the right word. Uh, rice with parsley is also good. And of course garlic. Uh, I also use garlic in my recipe. Uh, but I doubt they would want to be thrown away after being turned into exospheres. My opinion may not matter much because I don't use an x sphere. But I think that your necklace will be one. But I believe the designs will defeat us if we throw away our x spheres now. And if that happens, more people will lose their lives to these stones. I don't want that to happen. I don't want this journey to be meaningless. Cool, that's right. We can throw away the x spheres at any time. But right now, we must carry the weight of the hopes and dreams of those victims and fight for their sake, as well as ours. Didn't you say you weren't going to hesitate anymore? You haven't had them recently, but your roommate has some? So parsley, paprika and garlic, you love those, Drew? I do like garlic, but not on everything. For example, I don't add garlic to my pasta sauce, but I like garlic in rice. Yeah, I hate to say it, but you're right. Mom's regrets and wishes dwell in this thing. To prevent creating more But I need to like learn more about his father now. Because they were saying that his father killed her mother. Wait, his father killed his mother. But... I'm guessing it was to stop his mother from destroying, I don't know, a, a city or hurting people. But then I'm not sure if his father was someone good or bad. I'm going to help Colette. I will fight for both myself and my mom who lives on within me. Yeah, me too. I'm going to fight on Marvel's behalf as well. I forgot. Uh, who powered Rain's Axisphere? Uh, which area did you go to most recently? We tried to enter Asgard's Ranch, where we met the Happy Mask Salesman's father, also known as Kivar, and then Shina 
took us away from there because they cornered and she thought that she, sh she should take us out of there. Although I think we would be able to, to handle them well because I, I was not scared of fighting them. And here we are, Sheena brought us back to Luwin. And I'm guessing that after this talk we will be back there. Me too. I'm going to regenerate the world as quickly as I can. People are sinful creatures. Life survives at the cost of another. Did you ever thought about that or think about that, Drew? That he looks exactly like the happy mask salesman? Then we must continue to bear the burden of our sins for as long as we continue to live. Life survives at the cost of another? Wait, is Sheena holding one of the exospheres as well? I don't really know how to say this, but I don't think there's a way to justify the lives sacrificed to make exospheres. They have to be stopped at all cost. Wait, she was you... not, right? She was not Did holding an exosphere. You hadn't thought of that until now? I'm sorry to ruin your images of Kivar now. But now, once you see it, you can't unsee it. Now that I know, I, I can't pretend like nothing happened. This is too cruel. Let's go, it's finally time, right? It took you forever to finally join well, us. What do you want to do? Wait, I of can- Of course you're welcome to join us. Yeah, you saved us and all. Yeah, for a second I was thinking they would give me a choice. Yeah, let's fight the designs together. Do as you wish. I'll trust you for now. Please, Rain. Thanks. I've used up all my guardians, but I'm sure I can still be of use. My guardians? Yes, I, I know that she was using some... personas. But it seems that they were called as guardians. Okay, let's see what she can do. She's at level 24, not bad. Yeah, Rain has some... Um, some... I don't know the word, but she doesn't trust Sheena that much. Or they don't go along very well. Attacks, a pyre seal, a life seal. Wait, is still HP from an enemy? Power seal, a slight chance of decreasing defense for a time, that's good. Defend against most attacks and magic. But you still have a summon. Summons the spirit Corinne. Wait, so this is the summon talk that they were having for some time, but we still didn't know anything about it? So is this like the first official summon of this game? Corinne? Uh, she has an interesting fighting style with those guardians. So the Guardians are like the, the Seals, right? Um, I mean, maybe not. Maybe the Guardians are the, the Summons. Uh, let me see what I can give her. She has the card of water. She wears robes just like... Rain, maybe that's why Rainy doesn't like her because they have the same fashion style and now they are going to share their clothes. Uh, we can give her the ya Yaoi, a robe for female ninjas, especially made for extra durability. And this was the game spoiling me that she would join my party because we were able to craft this way before she joined us. You think it will all be revealed soon? But you think she is interesting? Well, at least she does some different things, right? So... I want to see, I want to see how they are going to look like. Yeah, they are sharing the same fashion style. Uh, 
let's give her the iron bracelet. A restores 5% of max TP for every enemy defeated. I think I will give her that. Let's give her the talisman. Uh, getting that item early was a spoiler? It was. No sharing allowed? Come on, we, we, we need to. We need to share. S wait, someone spoiled something for Fire Emblem last night? I'm sorry man, you were, you were close to finish the game, right? Hopefully it was not something very major. Was it major? And also, what did happen after that? Uh, did you do something uh, to the person? Did you say something to the person? Uh, did the person have like bad intentions or the person was kind of careless or unaware uh, about the blind playthrough or something? Oh my god, they told you a character's death? <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that, man. And then you saw the cutscene not long after? But were you already expecting that death or something? Or it was completely shocking to you, like you were not seeing that happening at all? The person was careless? Yeah, I do hope the person learned his or her lesson to not uh, do it again. Uh, Corinne is happy too. She never have become more cheerful lately. Oh wait, we are finally seeing the, the cat or fox, I don't know what's that. It's because you have found new friends. Wait, the fox is Corinne? <laughs> okay, uh, we have seen this fox before interact with Noish, but I didn't know it was Corinne. Let me write that down. It's the fox. So that's why she was saying something like, now I don't have the, the, the summons anymore, I use them all, but of course she still has Corinne, because she has always been by Corinne, right? Or she always has Corinne by her side. It wasn't at all, it was 100% shocking. Yeah, that was Corinne, I had no idea. Sheena's afraid of failure. It's them again. I may fail again. Don't worry, it looks like... If it looks like you are going to fail, I will save you. Thank you. Ah, uh, they are good friends. I wish they... They tell me more about their backstory on how Sheena was able to meet Corinne or how they became friends. You, you meant the spoiler? I know. I, I know you were talking about the spoiler. But when that situation happens, I kind of wish that the chat reacts somehow to the spoiler, for example. I don't know how fast you were reading the chat, but I like when the chat does things like Drew, don't read the chat, or they spam emotes or something to make the spoiler go away. But I'm guessing nobody was doing any sort of such things, right? Or even telling the person to not say such things. Are you going to hop onto your computer? That's alright, man. I talk to you soon then. Because sometimes spoilers do happen on the chat, but it's also uh, possible for you to avoid reading it if there is somebody else just below saying that there is a spoiler on the chat. People aren't like that for you anymore? I know you are referring regarding mods, but I was thinking about uh, 
people that have been watching your Fire Emblem playthrough because it's a blind playthrough. I know there are some uh, big fans of Fire Emblem in there. They were also spamming that very funny emote that I unfortunately forgot the 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 shortcut for it. But that one that has the Pepe with glasses make, taking notes. Those people they could have done something as well. They could have tell they could have told right. They could have told the person that don't say such things or Drew don't read the chat or something. You don't necessarily need a mod for that. Uh, if you have your community or your chat supporting you on that direction, especially the people that knew that it was a blind play true, instead of leaving the the the, the, the spoiler there unprotected or I don't know um, the spoiler being free to be there, you know. Yeah, I was expecting those people to have some reaction, but maybe we didn't have them by the time, maybe, I don't know, uh, they were distracted, I don't know. But what are we going to do now? Kvar will undoubtedly increase the security now, we won't be able to get in easily. There was someone who escaped from the range, he may know another way in. I know him, his name is Pietro, he should still be in Hima. Uh, why do you know him? It, it doesn't matter, does it? I have my reasons. Where is Hima? I still haven't been to this place. Mm, well, whatever, okay, let's go to Hima. You know Pietro Drew? So I'm guessing Hima is going to be northwest because it's like the only place I still need to go. Let's see Shina in action. Don't get too comfortable. Oh, never mind, she's not on my party. She's only the avatar. I walked past Hima way back when I was exploring before crossing the sea, so it gotta be northwest, right? Also, I just remembered, yesterday we have seen a... Uh, one of those cutscene spots on the beach, so I want to get to it today as well. I believe it is there. On the sand, right? Don't worry, Whoa. leave it to me. Have we ever fought this before? Yeah, it is a big tortoise. But he was not that strong. Pretty good, right? Definitely a rare encounter. There is a one of those things in here, right? The truth about the Axis Spheres. I can't believe this. The Axis Spheres? But it does make sense. If Axis Spheres are absorbing human life, then removing them by force could indeed turn the hosts into monsters. How can you talk so calmly now? It's precisely at times like this that I have to try to remain calm. Actually, it does make sense now that they are... Oh yes, this is what I have seen yesterday. Now they are talking about it. A uh, professor, where did you study? Was it at some really big school somewhere? I have never been to school. I took several tests, but I never attended the formal, a formal school due to various circumstances. 
Wow, I never realized that people can get smart like you without going to school. As long as you have the will, you can study anywhere. I get it. Since I don't have the will, I don't understand what you teach in class. Don't sound so proud about it. I know that you can do it if you just try harder. I mean, you are able to learn intricate crafting techniques. Huh, yeah, well, I have the will to do that. I guess it's fine. Even I sometimes can't achieve the desired end result. Like cooking? I hate to admit it, but yes. If there is a cooking school, I would love to attend it. Speaking about cooking, where is the master chef, right? I, I need to find him again. It's probably useless? No, I won't say that. You will get better eventually. Thank you, Lloyd, even if it is only to console, console me. I now, I'm now curious. Is she really bad on cooking? Yes, she is. She has no stars? And her maximum is two stars. Uh, what did you think of Tolda Geyser, by the way? The Seal of Water? Do you mean the dungeon? Do you mean the, the boss? The boss was alright. The dungeon was beautiful. I hated the, the side quest. Kind of a side quest, but not really that they forced me to do that was like we got to Toda and then we experienced the, the dungeon and then I left the island and then this, th there was this whole situation in the <coughs> in the restoration house or in the restoration area I don't remember how it's called that they were talking about a stolen or a lost statue that was lost in Toda. So they made me go back there just to get this statue while I could have done that since the beginning, like in my first visit uh, to Toda. So that return, that backtrack was kind of annoying in my opinion and unnecessary. But the first time I went there it was alright, I liked the place. I, and I was happy that I kind of got there, unaware, regarding where the seal of water would be located. So I, I got there, what's in this place, am I exploring? But then I realized, no, this is plot, because the the water dungeon is in here. And hi, Subaru, how's it going, man? How's your Sunday? Uh, we are trying to get to a new place called Hima, because when we were trying to progress in the human range, as you could see by the end of the stream yesterday, Shina decided to take us out of there because we got cornered and she told us that we should look for this person that knows the human range well that's located in a city called Hima, so instead of finishing that place, we are trying to get to a new place called Hima. And it seems to be northwest on this continent. I'm doing alright man, I just had a small neck ache, but it's not a big deal, it's fine. I was also a little bit worried that I haven't been eating very healthy food this weekend, but I will try to, to fix that tomorrow. Oh yes, that's true! And then after... Rescuing us, remember yesterday that we saved her life by healing her. Today I believe she wanted to pay that debt uh, by rescuing, rescuing us. And there is also another thing. We learned more about the origins of the Axis Spheres in our short visit in the Human Range. And we learned that the fact that the designs have those... Or maybe I should say the reason that the designs have those Human Ranges is because the only way for those Axis Spheres to get powers is by using human energy or life energy from the humans. So after learning that truth, Shina decided to join us. Uh, she decided to join our party as well. After 
taking us out of the, the range, she also joined our party. So we had this small bit of, of, of plot, but you haven't missed a lot. And yes, I still need to see her in, in action. Uh, let's switch... I will replace her and Colette. Colette's not cold? Say, isn't it kind of cold? Uh, really? It's freezing. I'm surprised it doesn't bother you, Colette. The winds from the holy ground of Carlon blow through this area and can cause extreme temperature drops. Uh, well, Colette's probably got her mind on her task of regeneration and is too excited to feel the cold. Thank you, Lloyd. But not. Don't get too comfortable. We have thought that before, right? <laughs> yes, we have. Oh my god, Shina is like Kratos. They, they are thirsty for blood. Shina is good. Oh, there is another one of the cutscenes up there. I will try to... Saburu, Shina can do something that's called Summon. I'm guessing this is the first time we are going to see... That Summon talk that they were telling us in some streams ago. Because she can summon something. And it's Corrine. It's only taking forever though. Man, it's re Did it work? I don't think it worked. I mean, I saw Corinne for a little bit, but I don't know if Corinne did something. Corinne was on the bottom of the screen for some seconds. I don't think it was worth it. She took forever to summon Corinne. Corinne is that... It is that fox slash cat that was playing games with Noish throughout the game. Creature, but thankfully not too strong to stop us. Uh, why did you come to Isilia? I was hired. Wait, we have read this before, haven't we? I was hired by a rich individual to escort a pilgrimage. 
Oh no, never mind. We read about why is Kratos protecting Colette? I was near Isilia, so I decided to stop by there to look for a new job. I'll check on the description what Corinne does. And there you saw the Oracle. You should thank me. If I had not come, you would have... Th That's not true. You are so con condescending. But what makes it worse is that it it's not true! <laughs> it's not true! We, we beat the boss without getting a single hit. It's not true! I'm, I'm serious. We, we were easily demon fanging him to death until the cutscene stopped, or actually I should say the cutscene started, and then we were like tired and weak when we were not. Yes! And I hate it when you do that, it's patronizing. I guess you, your dislike for me runs quite deep. I don't dislike you. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't speak to you like this. I see, I apologize for my prior remarks. Remarks. It's okay, I was pretty rude about it too. By the way, Drew, did you start playing this game like you said you, you would? Probably not, right? Don't be intimidated by their number. I don't remember that enemy. Fire, by the way. Oh, you were you were contemplating streaming it yourself? Yesterday I was talking to Rian, and Rian told me that he really liked playing Tales of Fantasia. So when I decide to play another game of this franchise, it's definitely going to be Fantasia. Yeah, Rion has played it, and he was telling me yesterday that it's a good game. I know the reason why you are considering playing this or not is because you think this is a very long game. So, I would say you to go for Fantasia. Not only it's going to be shorter, but it's also going to be blind for you. I can see a small and tiny gray little square or gray dot on the map and it is somewhere around here. But I have no idea what it could be. Let's get out of here. Gotta know where to go. If only the camera helped me out. Like an entrance to a cavern? Let's get out of here. I don't know where to go. I want to go down now. Should we try using the summon again? The camera helping me, right, Subaru? It never happens. Where is Sheena? Sheena, can you try summoning again so I can see it? That. 
And then the other party members killed him before we could see the summon. I'm really thinking it's not worth it. Okay, so according to the map, whatever is the gray dot, it is... Here? Wait, is it like a passage? This is gonna be a piece of cake! a passage right oh wait it's not oh it's a trail maybe oh, wait this is him it was so hidden Yes, I found it thanks to the map. Can you see the gray dot right there? I, I was curious about it. There is another gray dot as well. Uh, ahead of this. us on the mountain. I was expecting it to not be Hima because it's so... It's such a small thing on the map. I was thinking it was a side quest, another place. It is a hard place to find, yes, especially a city. I was thinking it was a cave. Better tempest? Let's go, I love tempest. <laughs> I have a bug face now. We got another tempest. But I don't know why it's called beside tempest. It's not psychic. Is it? I still, I, I'm still waiting for the blade, blade attack, but I take those tempest moves while we don't get the blade, blade attack. Like a spin attack. Okay, let's use the panacea bottle. Then I'm going to save. Wait, I forgot to read the synopsis, right? Let's do this before I forget it again. Uh, we stopped reading, I believe in here, right? As they, do as they dove deeper into the human range, the group was struck by a horrifying sight, Axis Fears. The same ones that had been relying on. They were being grown in human bodies for later extraction. The Axis Fears matured only if they, if they could feed on human life. I believe this is from today. Uh, not only that, but Lloyd learned that his mother had been a host body in his very range 
before being murdered by Lloyd's father. Yes, yeah, Saburo, this was something that we learned today. Uh, the party was suddenly surrounded by Kvar and his minions, but thanks to Shina's quick thinking, Lloyd and the others barely escaped with their lives, and they decided to return to Lewin for the time being. Uh, upon learning the terrible secret behind the Axis spheres, Lloyd and the others were afraid to continue using them in combat. However, with some persua persuasion from Kratos, they once again steeled themselves for battle. With Shina joining their group, they decided to search for the escape from the human range they had learned about. They hoped he might know another way to get into the range. Uh, the Asgard range Skapi had traveled to Hima, the village of adventurers. Lloyd and the others headed for the mountain range to the west of Luin where Hima awaited them. This could be a way for you to, to get a hint of where Hima is located. Yes, we have read this one before. We also have read this one before. I don't get it. Why do the messages they they get in strange orders? It's a bit confusing. Well, Let's check him up. Well, this is more cheerful than what I was expecting. It's very cheerful, actually. This is Hima, the village of adventurers. Well, we call it a village, but really there is just an inn. Let me get Colette here, because we have a mission with her. Let's name all the dogs. By the way, um, Lewin didn't have a dog, right? Oh, Boo, she's so cute! Uh, Sabri saying... Maybe this is the order that the plot should be told? I was thinking I was following the plot in a very good order, but then... Maybe I'm wrong. I started the journey as... For the teachings of the Church of Marto. But man, this is tiresome. I get. Wait, I guess. I guess next I'll head for Lewin in the north. Northeast? Don't you worry, Lewin is not there anymore. That's pretty far away. Welcome to the Crimson Canyon. What store are you interested in? Um. Various goods. We can buy Osafune, a member cloak, a cleric's hat, a tartan ribbon, pretty mittens. A leather cape, and that's it. First, I want to see the customization. A nimble rapier. A stinger ring. We can we can build that. A ruby wand. But then we will need to choose. I think it would be better for us to get Rain's weapon because both the Nimbo Rapier and the Stinger Ring they use the white silver. Although I still don't know where can I find brass. 
but I think I would go for this one. Can I buy... I can't. But I can buy those other things. I'll get a Nosefune, a Ember Cloak, Cleric's Hat... Oh, I, I won't have money to everything. looking for again in this place? I haven't written down the name of the person. Sheena! Oh, Pietro, there we go. Pietro Did he say anything? Something about the human range perhaps? I don't know, I don't even know if he really escaped He did! Uh, what about his belongings? He didn't have any uh, where is his grave? At the back of the adventurer's graveyard. Uh, don't think about digging up his grave, please. Uh, yes, basically that's what happened. And then he's dead. Uh, greetings, welcome to Echoes. Yeah, let's stay in here. Sheena might be very sad, right? Uh, please take care. I don't get it. Uh, this place has such a cheerful music. And the first news we get in here is that the guy's dead. Can you please stop the cheerful music for some respect? Sometimes there is this weird man by the graves who stands there mumbling. He's kind of disturbing. Chef! It's easy on the stomach and very healthy. Yes, risotto! Damn it! Now I want the cheerful music. Give me the cheerful music. I don't care. It's the wonderful chef. 
Risotto requires two ingredients, some type of rice and cheese. Thank you. Farewell. Please, don't be that hard for me to find you. Don't, don't hide yourself too well. Yeah, it's been so painful. So he's basically objects. I, I, now I could pay more attention. I need to find objects and interact with them. Sour please, cheerful music. Now the cheerful music can keep going. I found the, the, the character that I was looking for the most. Uh, Sabri saying, how would she not know that he was able to escape? If they even have them buried, buried right? If they even have them buried here. That's true, I don't know why she was saying that. I don't even know if he was able to, to get out. <laughs> the gourmet, the one. There we go, the dancing. Damn! It's been like what? Five, four streams that I have been trying to find this guy again? The last time was in Try It. We have gone through a whole continent without any leads about this guy. And we have a very long cooking list to fill with dishes. So I was like, come on, I'm trying to find him, but I have no idea where he is. So now we can finally cook risotto. Let's check that. You see, look at this list. Look at that. We only have three newbie things. So we only need rice and cheese. A melodic harmony of rice and cheese restores our small amount of HP. We need to learn how to cook a dessert as well. You guys came all the way out here, you must be really bored. Well, enjoy your stay. Uh, this is a nice... quaint? A nice quaint little hamlet. The air is fresh and there is a really nice view at the top of the mountain. Of course, that's all that is. The only thing they got is this rundown inn. Uh, PB cookies are the easiest. I have cooked PB cookies before. Uh, one cup of PB, one cup of sugar, one egg, a little bit of flour, don't you think? Yeah, peanut butter is really good. I used all the ones that I had, uh, thanks to it's too early that sent me those. But I still kept the 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 plastics, the I don't know the the, the flashes or wait the fresks maybe I don't know I will get them I, I think I still have them on on my kitchen.
yeah, Early sent me this, I believe, last year, or maybe two years ago. He sent me Pop Tart. Uh, Vermont maple syrup. Which was very delicious. S'mores pop tarts are your favorite? I'm not sure what s'mores. And then two bottles of peanut butter. Uh, is this one a brand that you guys know? And then I washed it so I could keep it. Wait, Walmart brand is it? Yeah, it was one normal peanut butter and a crunchy one. And then with these things I have cooked the peanut butter cookies and then when I was with my friends I also wanted them to taste uh, those American dishes we were able to cook a souffle I will try to find a picture but I don't know if I'll be able to I don't think I posted on on Twitter did I post it on Twitter? Maybe it is on Twitter, I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, Joe Dancing, I don't know if I showed you this. But speaking about packages, Draco sent me the Persona bag. I don't know if you have seen it. You still need to get your Quistus keychain. Oh yes, and when I was talking about the snacks earlier, there they are, those are the ones that I ate on my last birthday. Maybe I have it in here, on Twitter. Joe Dancing, this is just for you! Wait, don't I have it? Oh my god! Drew, are you still there? Thank you, Joe Dancy. The Persona bag is actually really great. Drew, look what I just found in here. Wait. I just found the tweet that I sent you the, the picture. 
With the old, yeah, with the old Mr. The D Train account right there. Come on, I, I must have the picture in here. Yes, I found it! I do have it, thank goodness. So this is the souffle that I cooked with my friends with the ingredients that Early sent me. It was so delicious. So it has like... Uh, it was a uh, peanut butter souffle with chocolate and then on top of it you have an ice cream, a vanilla ice cream with some peanut butter crunchy parts like it was a peanut butter cookie but we crunched it or we made it to be like crunchy like this to cover the ice cream and then we powdered some maple syrup and it was incredible it was super super good i'm sorry that it took like five minutes or i don't know how many minutes for me to finally find that picture but peanut butter maple syrup i know that i'm always talking about brazilian food but you guys also have some very amazing and delicious things in there so you guys have things that I envy you a lot, because those two are really delicious. So later I will get this inside this box again, let's go back to the game. Yeah, the memories, right? It is still, it's still your tweet, Twitter banner? Wait, you have it on your Twitter? I still remember checking some of your clips trying to get those things, but my all-time favorite clip of yours may, may always be the one of Nightbot winning the giveaway. Although a second close, um, a, a second close place, wait, a second, how can I say it? A close second place, there we go, a close second place is the one from Ajora's Mask. When you are listening to I Believe I Can Fly and then you are doing the Deku's minigame and then you failed it in the end and then you fell from your chair. <laughs> That's probably a very close second place. It's, it's great man, those clips were the best ones. But then Nightbot winning the giveaway was like... <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, and then the next one was Sky. Okay, so they want us to go check the, the graveyard. I'm guessing it's up here. Oh, th those guys are here as well? I mean, how how's our grade right now? I'm guessing it's going to be a hundred... 40? Oh my god! I'm, I'm so psychic tonight, guys. Why can't I have this luck to win, to win the lotto? But I'm still going to save it, because maybe we can get the X gem level 4 at some point. Although I still don't know exactly their importance. Wait, what the hell is that on the chimney? Uh, welcome to the cat's exploration team. Do you need help with something? Uh, not really. I suppose digging up the grave is out of, out of question. Anyways, let's pray. Even for this moment, they don't remove the cheerful music? Come on. Huh?
is it him? And he was not dead? It is him! Chosen Mana Die? He wants to fight us. Pietro, I heard you were dead. Here you are. Chosen, die, angel, die. Human range, underground. You mustn't come out here. Let's go. You lied to us. He is the one that escaped from the range. Really? Please tell me, how did you get away from the human range? Do you remember the mini game in Majora's Mask with the maze? Oh my god, the Deku the, the, the Deku nut? <laughs> I do remember it, yes. <laughs> or the bomb too, that's also very useful. Please tell me, how did you get away from the human range? I was thinking to myself in here, of course it is the boulder, it could only be the boulder. Boulder, big underground, duo, boulder move, chosen. A duo? Uh, what you're saying? Is that the escape, escape route? Wait, it's pronounced like root. Uh, is that the escape route? Please let him be. Now listen, you may be happy just protecting Pietro, but because of this guy, countless people from Luin are dead. How about helping us just a little? I'm sure Pietro has many things he wants to say as well. But because of the curse, he's been turned into this. But he's still alive. The dead can't even tell us that they were scared. Please help us. We want to go to the range if it is possible to get out. It's possible to get back in, right? Please? I'm willing to help you, but in exchange lift his curse. So now we will have two people to save? Clara and then Pietro? The healing technique left behind by Boatsman is in the Tower of Mana. So maybe that's the place where you can find the, the cure. So, Boatsman? Who's Boatsman? Was Boatsman one of the Grand Cardinals? That may be able to cure his curse. Alright, but infiltrating the range comes first. That I won't rel relinquish. Uh, when, we, when he escaped from the range, he said he came out through the front yard and he blocked the exit with a boulder. His things are in the grave, take them with you. Thank you, we will come back when we have acquired the healing technique. Come, let's go. Was there a... Yeah. Come on, Janice, of course there was a boulder there. I was talking about that boulder for a long time. Let's go check it out. We'll need an, an axe or a pickaxe to break it. We acquired a design orb. Is this the jewel? Wait, you think your favorite clip was when your emerald run was red? And the last Pokemon you had was a... <laughs> Wait, I didn't see that one. You had a... Wait, but maybe that sounds familiar. A Cubone, a Cubone with brown and tail whip? I don't know, that sounds familiar now. Although I can't watch it right now, man. But message me the, the link, and then I will watch it after the stream. I do have a, a memory of you getting only a useless Pokemon by the end 
Okay, it can be on Twitter. And hey, Nabo, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Um, Nabo, I'm pretty sure you are very excited for the Secret of Mana collection and the the new one, right? That was announced on Nintendo's Direct. I thought on on you when I was watching that. So how hyped were were you for for that? Because you were playing the the patched version, but now you can have the official one and the remake. We are going to the gym, alright, Joe Dancing, have a great workout, and pick up dinner, also get uh, an amazing dinner, be back later, I hope to talk to you then, and have a great time. What do you think that I'm playing right now? I'm so hyped, there we go, Nobo. Uh, what are you thinking about the games, man? Which one are you playing? Are you playing the remake? Are you playing the... The old ones, the classic ones. I want to play Secret of Mana now after watching such a beautiful trailer. I, I was very interested on the plot of that uh, remake game, especially because there is a very cute character on it that looks like a small kid dressed like a fairy or something. And then it seems that she had a, a sad past because she lost her mother and, the, and her father. I got like attached emotionally attached to that character, so I can't wait to try playing uh, Secret of Mana games as well. Oh, the remake is not out. Oh yeah, the remake is not out yet. That's true. Sometime early 2020. Yeah, the only thing that was out was the collection. So I'm guessing you're playing the third one, right? The one that you loved so much, and you were playing the, the patched one with the fan-based translation. I was trying to find the design gem, right, or something. But I don't know. I don't know where it is. There are some items that they give to us that I can never find. I think that's... That's very unfortunate, because this game gives us an item list. Oh wait, it's in here! Never mind, it's the design orb. It opens the hidden door at the Asgard human range. Never mind, game, you are doing your job well, it was my fault. That's Charolette? She may look young, but she's 15 years old, really? When the game takes place? You don't like her speech style in the official version? So, the remake is really a remake, right? It's not going to be like a new and different game. It's really going to be the remake of the third one. Is that what's happening? This one is Rocky! Rocky! Uh, these are the graves of people who escaped from the human range. Those who escape from the range are affected by a curse and eventually die. How long is this going to go on? Kratos? Angry? Uh, by the way, Nubbo, uh, let me watch this and then I will tell you something. Yes, did something happen? No, I'm the same as usual. You're lying. Anyone can see you're mad about something. I'm not angry. You are angry, man. I'm sorry, please let me be alone for a while. Yeah, sometimes that's the, that's the best thing to do. Uh, it's being built from the ground up. The remake of Trials of Mana, so, th so it has the same story and characters, but it looks like a completely new game. So it is like a real remake, but because it's getting the new format and the new graphics. Yes, I, I was thinking that it was looking like a new game, like a completely different thing. But it, it, if it has the same story, then it's understandable it's a remake. But Nubble, I wanted to tell you that I'm really disappointed 
about the last Pokemon news. I lost my hype for the game for Sword and Shield. I'm very disappointed, man. So I wanted to know if you are still hyped for the game or if you're still hopeful it's going to to be good or if you think that no, they did a, a very horrible choice with their decisions. Uh, what are your impressions on the last Pokemon news? Mine are horrible. I I think I will wait and hope to see if they are going to make any changes to fix those things, especially one of them in particular, because otherwise it's very disappointing. It is like a reimagined remake, maybe, maybe it is Subaru, yeah. Maybe it's like Final Fantasy VII Remake. Wait, you didn't hear? Oh yeah, um, yes, Noble. The, those news, those Pokemon news, they were not announced in the direct itself, but they were announced as the E3 event was going on. So we are not aware of the three things they told us about Pokemon Sword and Shield. If you want, I can tell you those things, but I'm sorry in advance because maybe you may feel disappointed as well about what's going on. So, the first thing is that they confirmed that we won't get the Z-moves, which is alright, uh, in my opinion, it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, I can handle a game without the Z-moves, I don't think they were the best mechanics ever. Although, the second news is that we are not getting... There is also that. Yes, that, in my opinion, is the worst news. But also, there is this other one, that we won't get Mega Evolutions in the game. Even the Mega Evolutions are cut uh, from the game, which doesn't make sense to me at all. Because even Pokemon Let's Go had them, and Pokemon Let's Go was like an extra game, it was like a lazy game as well. But now they are not getting the Mega Evolutions in Sword and Shield, which would be like the biggest Pokemon game for them. You don't mind any of those deals? Well, Good for you, because I'm very disappointed, especially that we can't transfer all the Pokemon to the game. And then they said that this game is going to have a thousand plus Pokemon, I don't care. I want my old Pokemon in there, what if one of my old and favorite Pokemon that I always like to use or to play or even to, I don't know, challenge myself with it. For example, let's suppose I want to beat this game by only using Bidoof, and then Bidoof is not in the game. You can't do it. So I was frustrated because Pokemon Home also loses its point, at least until they release another game in the future. I don't know, I think it's just them kind of being lazy or not dedicating themselves too much to put them in. And then the other thing is that the Dynamax mechanic, which is like their new thing and their biggest bet. It's not looking that great, so why are they replacing the things that worked for this new thing that's not looking that exciting, at least not to me. Yeah, but Dynamax is... I, would, I wouldn't have Dynamax in place of Z-moves, but especially in place of Mega Evolutions. But I would get rid of the three of them just to have all the Pokémon in the game. Because we were always dreaming with a real Pokemon game for the home console. And when we finally have it, they are... I don't know, limiting it. Let's not limit it. Please, why not take the inspiration of, I don't know, games like... Um, Smash Ultimate, that has everyone on, in, in it, right? And see the massive success that it's that it's getting to Nintendo, or to all the fans. So I, I thought it was a dumb decision to not have every Pokemon on it. I don't, I'm not saying about capturing them all in the game, because that's fine, you, you don't need to capture them all in the region, but transferring? Come on! Me too, man, I would get rid of all of those just to have all the Pokemon in the game. So, 
every everyone would be happy with that because I don't know. I, I know some people they prefer playing with the OP Pokemon, but you guys know that I don't. I usually pre I usually like to play with some weaklings and do my best to come up with strategies that could make them better. If I don't have my weaklings in the game, I'll be I'll be sad. Maybe even my original team may not be able to be on it. I don't know if they're going to include Furret, for example. Furret is one Pokemon that I play in my competitive team. But then also the other people's preferences. I don't know, maybe there is someone that loves Luminion, for example, and then Luminion won't be in the game because it's too unpopular or because nobody remembers Luminion. But there is this person somewhere that loves Luminion, and then the person is buying the game just to find Luminion and to have an experience with Luminion and won't. So, I do hope they are going to fix it, uh, they do have time, they do have uh, the, the backlash from the fans, uh, the fans are not happy with that decision. I hope that the same thing that has been happening to Mario Maker 2 will happen to the Pokemon company, that they will fix those things, even though it doesn't happen by the time of the release, please do something about it, because the fans are expecting to see the Pokemon. And then they are giving us a lot of Pokemon, yes, uh, they also said that it's going to have a thousand plus Pokemon. But I don't want new Pokemon if it's in trade-off or if it is in exchange of the old ones. Let's see if they are going to fix those things or make some changes because I'm not happy, Drew is not happy, Nubble would make the change as well. I, I really think that nobody's happy. Wow, you can see the Tower of Salvation really well from here. It's funny that I still don't know where that place is on the map. Like, we still couldn't reach its location. Maybe it is on the ocean, I don't know. Man, how far up does the Tower of Salvation go? Excuse me, coming through, pardon me just for a bit. Mm, this looks like it's wide enough. Good, good. Uh, what you're talking about? I'm glad you asked. I think I'm thinking of starting a new business here. It's gonna be called Dragon Tours. Oh. Oh, okay. When we were in Asgard, they were telling us about those tours, but it seems that nobody likes to take those rides anymore. Hi, Charlie. How are you doing, man? Welcome. Yeah, we got Sheena and then we visited Hima right now. You kinda have no choice at this point but to roll with the punches because you already pre-ordered the duo pack. If you go on YouTube and if you search for the Pokemon trailer, you see that people have been dis disliking it a lot. So N Nintendo and the Pokemon company have the chance to see that people and the fans are not happy with their decisions. So... That's what I'm thinking that people and the fans are trying to do. They are trying to communicate with Nintendo to show them that we care for the fact that we won't have all the Pokemon in the game. I'm pretty sure they can have some, some solutions for that. They even may already have all the models. For example, in, in Pokemon Sun and Moon they had 3D models of buddy Pokemon that were never used, and then the, the the people that do data mining, they were able to find those models. I'm pretty sure they have everything done, but they don't want to include it for whatever reason. And if they need to cut down another part of the game in order to have the... I don't know, data or to, to, to have something to replace for the Pokemon, for the rest of the Pokemon, please do it, I don't care. And you know another thing, Double, because we won't have all the Pokemon in it, I also think that's going to be bad for post-game. Because one of the biggest things about post-games in, in Pokemon games is that during the post-game you will try your best to get all the other Pokemon you weren't able to find. Or even, I don't know, battle some new trainers, some more experienced trainers, or to refight the the gym leaders or the Elite Four, 
and usually in those brief fights, they will have other Pokemon that they didn't have in their original teams. Without this library of all the Pokemon in the game, they will be limited. Even though they are giving us new Pokemon, I want to see the old ones as well. It's, it's, it's a bad excuse of theirs to not have them. In the main console game, come on, it gotta be the powerful game. The one that is the dreams of every fan that we always waited for. Or that we always have been waiting for. You are long enough time fan, you are gonna get the games regardless. I understand you. I'm not saying that I'm uh, not curious about the game or that I think that the game is going to be a failure. I'm just extremely disappointed. But I know I'm also a big fan and I will continue to play and to like and to love Pokemon. I do have a new real life friend as well that's like that. I was chatting about the situation with him and he was also saying I know it sucks but I will still buy the game anyways, I f feel like the same, but we gotta, if we have the chance to do something, we gotta do something, like I kinda support the, the people that are raging and complaining and disliking the Pokemon Company videos, because we gotta also show them our opinions and our feedback but I'm pretty sure the game is going to be great uh, it has the open world part um, the game is looking beautiful as well the new Pokemon so far they are awesome but seriously they had to do this change You try not to let news on the game get you too hyped or too disappointed before you even play the game. No, I, I also think it's going to be a great game. Um, it, it's just kind of frustrating, you know, because it's a big thing that they are changing. But I agree, it's not the end of the game as well. The game has been looking great so far. But those news. It's just that sour news, you know. Yeah. Uh, dragon tours, you take a tour here to watch the dragons that fly by. Ooh, close, that's good gas, kid. I'm starting a business where you ride on a dragon and see the Tower of Salvation up close. Maybe this is the way for us to get to the Tower of Salvation, by riding the dragons. You can go to the Tower of Salvation? No, 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 they just fly around it, so, so maybe not. But still, it will be uh, the experience of a lifetime. Wow, that's cool. So where are the dragons? I'll bring them next time. Look forward to it. Until then, bye. No one's going to wait around, around for your dragons. <laughs> hey, mister, I'll be waiting. So we gotta return here later when they have the dragons. Can I do something about this? Why do I have the feeling that I can? Maybe I can't, but... We do have firepower. I was trying to go above that small rock. So I could use the firepower there, but I can't. I have to say that this may not be a bad song, but it's one of my least favorite songs so far in the game, because I don't think it is fitting for this place. It's too cheerful. It's not a bad song, but not my favorite.
Okay, so we were able to get the Desion Orb. Oh dear, I bought too much food. I can't possibly return to low and carrying all this. What am I going to do? Oh, this is a this is a way to warp to Louie. No, I'm not going to Louie right now. Since I'm here, I want to finish checking this area. Maybe there are some other surprises or small secrets around. But Novo, I'm very happy that you got the Secret of Mana collection and then the remake is coming up then. I don't know if we'll be getting those games on, on Steam. But if someday they come out on Steam as well, like the collection or the remake, I will do my best to try to play it. But actually, maybe I can I can play the original one for for the Super Nintendo. And also Final Fantasy Adventures, right? Those two will be easy for me to play on stream. But then the third one, I don't know if I would patch it or if I would get this collection to to play it. Parents. I didn't know anything about mom of the Axis Fears. Yes. When will I finally be able to stop saying I didn't know? Not knowing is not a crime. Crime is remaining compl complacent in your ignorance and feeling no shame. Humans are far too powerless to know everything. Yeah, I guess you're right, but I still hate the fact that I didn't know. But how would you? Because you were like a baby, right? I feel so ashamed for not knowing anything about my parents. At least you are now finally finding some answers. I wonder if you're right, I hope so. I only hope that by the time we meet, oh, there there are some things in here. By the time we learn about his father, I hope it's not like bad news to him that his father was someone, someone with good intentions. And you are so lucky that you have noise. You think? Yeah. Wait, seriously? Come on! All this walk just for three lines of dialogue that are not adding anything? Why the latest JRPG games that I played on stream have been so... Not rewarding regarding exploration. This Final Fantasy this is a piece of cake. I was petrified. I mean, I don't need to heal myself because I know they will win this fight. That's that. 
But am I going to stay petrified after the fight? I am. Maybe that other gray dot on the map that I was talking about before Maybe that's the the Tower of Regeneration Because we could see it from where we were And I can't see an easy way for you to get there This is gonna be a piece of cake Get out of here <laughs> Gotta know when to go So then the Tower of Regeneration wouldn't be on the ocean like I was thinking And it's that other gray dot have checked this beach before. You're in a world of hurt. Let's get out of here. Uh, uh. Gotta know when to go. Yeah, in the end of it, I'm going to get to the place where we found one of those cutscenes, right? So... Let me go back to the trail. Then... to fix the camera is by using noise. Yeah, there isn't anything here but the bridge that gives that gives us the way back to the first continent. Yeah, let's let's go to the to the range.
get too comfortable. Let's get out of here. Not knowing to go. Okay, here we are. Let me save. Let's see if now we can finally finish this place. The power of exospheres. I can't believe that exospheres are made from human lives. I sort of had a feeling about it. About what? When I received power from my exosphere, uh, it always felt so warm and gentle. That was Marble Lee lending me her power. I'm sure your mother too has been watching over you this whole time, Lloyd. You think so? Yes. So how can we get rid of this? Uh, this is it, the one Pietro was talking about. So it would seem... Let's try moving it. It's no good, it won't budge. Then let's try using the design orb we received from Pietro. But when I pushed it, it didn't even budge. Let's go, Lloyd. Yeah. Isn't it still closed though? Couldn't you, couldn't, couldn't you see bars? What, ha what have they done to the bars? Uh, who the hell are you? Let's bring up the range wide map. Uh, professor, you're fantastic. So there are people on this side who can operate machines too? On this side? Um, I was just talking to myself. This is where we are now. And this is where the bar should be. Like the orange one? No, he's in the green one. It appears that in order to get to the floor that Kivari is on, we'll have to deactivate the guard system. The guard system? Here. If we want, or if we don't deactivate this guard system, we won't get, or we can't get to him. Uh, what are we supposed to do then? Calm down, there should be a switch somewhere to deactivate the system. Here it is. Oh, really? It's like in here right now? Oh, of course not. You see the two switches at the ends of this left-right passageway? Those are the deactivation switches. Okay then, let's go deactivate it. Wait a minute. I will bring up the... the... the root? <laughs> I will bring up the root leading to Kvar's room. 
I always need to be careful with that word. It looks like the conveyor belt prevents passage through here, or through there. In order to stop that, we will need to stop the conveyor belt me control mechanism. But it seems it's constructed in such a way that you can't get close to the to the control mechanism while containers are on the conveyor. Let's see, in order to adjust the container dispatch control system... It looks like a crab claw, yeah. Damn it, they have detected my access on the, of the main computer. Lloyd, what do we do? The designs will be here any minute. I don't care, we are, we are not in danger. We have even a new party member to help us out. Damn it! It looks like we don't have any choice. Sure, let's fight them. Oh, let's split into two teams to deactivate the system and to infiltrate Kivar's room. What? We are going to split up? There seems to be no other way. I would like to be in the group that goes after Kvar. Me too. And me. Colette, please choose for us. Uh, wait, th there is no choice because if the three of them are going in one group, the other three are on the other group. I'll leave it to Lloyd, but the three of them want to go together. What, me? I know you do a good job of splitting up or splitting us up. He lives only by intuition and instinct. What is that supposed to mean? Anyway, I'm going. I'm the one that's going to pick. I'm going to Kivar. I want to avenge mom. Wait. When am I picking them? Wait, Lloyd, you haven't chosen the members yet. So, I will go with, with Sheena because I still want to see more of her action. And... Maybe Janice. Be part of the infiltration team or be part of the deactivation team? Yes, you choose by talking to them. This sounds like... Uh, which game am I trying to remember now? I forgot, but I have played another game that's just like this. I'm in the infiltration, yeah. Yes, I want Sheena to go with me. Then... You know what? Maybe I shouldn't have Janice because... My body right now can't really heal me. I think I will go with Rain. Yeah. So at least Rain can heal us if we need some healing. And then the other team has Kratos to do physical, has Janice to use magic, and has Colette to, I don't know, uh, do Colette's things, right? Top tier Rain? Yeah, I hope Rain will help us a lot in here because. Rain is replacing her brother, and her brother Janice has many very great magic attacks that would be attacking in area field and beating many enemies at once. So I hope that Rain is going to do her job very well to us. Yeah, this is going to be it. I will also need to do some healing, I'm thinking, but then I use the items. 
Frankly, I'm a little uncertain about that selection. Do not underestimate Kivar. I think we'll be alright. Uh, Shina is a very good replacement of you, Kratos. And Rain is going to support us. Yes, we'll go with this. Let us get going then. Okay, Kivar, you better get ready. It's too bad I can't go with you. But I trust Kratos to protect Collect. So I'm going to be on the other team? That's disappointing. I see, then I leave Kivar to you. Let's meet in Kivar's control room. Oh! A cleric's hat? I have bought many of those. A warrior, an assassin, and a healer team. And the other is a mage, an angel, and a mercenary. Very weird group, right? Did you guys like my, my decisions? I almost went for the mage or Janus in my team, but then I was thinking maybe we need some healing. And then I, I picked Rain, because I wouldn't want to have Kratos and Lloyd together. Because Kratos would also be an option to heal us. But then I thought that Kratos would be a very good counterpart of Lloyd to be on the other team. Why are they giving me so many items now? Is this a trap? Lamellar leather was found and pellets. I know pellets are like a material, but what about the other things? Can I give the hats to somebody else? Oh, never mind, I only have them with me. Oh, but I can get the Lemonar Leather. Uh, Sabri is saying he doesn't know if Sheena can cause as much damage as Janice or Colette. The thing is that Sheena is a bit physical. And we only have two healers, which are Rain and Kratos. So basically, I would say that Sheena is like my Kratos replacement right now. But I still think they are a bit different. And then the other team would have Kratos as a physical user or attacker, plus healer. But Sheena also uses some... Wait, I just realized this. It says fire seal and... It says fire seal, but it's not a, a fire attack. Isn't that weird? stop this, we can prevent the captives from turning into monsters. Shut down. This was an easy room, what's going on? How could a room like this be unprotected? I'm trying to check if there is a secret on those walls. No, it seems that we are good.
we have a save point. Let's leave the captives rescue to the others. Looks like the fire from the sorcerer's ring increased. Now it should be able to reach places it couldn't before. Can we enter the conveyor belt? We can't. But I will double check. Also, I just realized that for most part of the game we have been playing by using four party members in a fight. Now we only have three people fighting, so some fights may not be as easy as before, right? We can't go up if you don't stop it. Uh, where do I need to go to stop this? Oh, it's in here. There are instructions labeled how to operate the conveyor belt. Yes. Host body dispatch shutdown. Deactivate switch in the container room. Conveyor belt shutdown. Deactivate the six control switches. Wait, what's the difference? The host body dispatch shutdown, deactivate switch in the container room. Okay, I know how to deactivate the, the conveyor, but container room? Where is the container room? We don't have 
have a, a memory gem. You know what? I will fight them. You're in for a world of hurt. Please drop a memory gem. No? Maybe the next one? Not much of a specimen. Have a, a memory gem. Wait, we do? Did I get it yesterday? Yesterday? It won't move. You have to wait for the others to deactivate the guard system. Let's do our best, let's go. They found us again? You brat, what are you doing here? You're gonna regret this. I'm playing as Janice? Come on, I, I, I wish I could be, I, I could play as, as Kratos. Let me change that. He's slow though. Oh my god, Kratos! Kratos can backflip on the air so he doesn't fall. Never stood a chance. Wait, I need to check his moves. Demon Fang, Lightning, First Aid, and Sonic Trust. Um, no, we have better things, right? For example, this. Also, Double Demon Fang. I don't know if you really need Lightning, since we have... Janice in our party. But lightning is the best magic attack, so maybe... Yeah, okay, you can keep lightning. So what matters to me is double demon fang and light spear. But also, I can set some other things down there. As... Fireball and Windblade. outside we have checked this before but I'm just being sure that I can't do anything else Locked, we better find another route. Um, excuse me. Is 
is there another passage here? Oh! There is one right there. Let's go down. What's up here? Lock disengaged? Oh! Okay, now we have a shortcut. You're gonna regret this! I'm controlling! Janice again? You ready for this? I can't feel the floor. Why can't I control Kratos? computer is dying a little bit but it may normalize again surprised how slow Kratos is. When he is fighting alongside us, I feel like he is fast. He's not fast, he he's so slow. This looks like a puzzle. Stone charm? Colette and Jenny's are are heavy to carry. I don't understand why sometimes I can't control him. It has something to do because he's on manual, right? I need to change that outside the fight. Testing here. 
The test decides which ranch she will be taken to. I believe they said she was being taken to Acelia. Acelia again? Acelia. I see. Thanks. Now let's get out of here. Everyone, follow me. So, I totally forgot about chocolate, that she was with them. Now I'm, I'm getting worried because maybe they will be able to do something bad to her since it's been like forever since we are trying to rescue her. And then I, I can totally see ourselves getting to her and then it's too late for us to do anything. But yes, I also should remember that we are trying to rescue Chocolate as well. I need to change Kratos manual thing, right? Because that's not working at all. And this room looks exactly like a previous room in this game, in a different range. Maybe the one in Palma Costa? A card of Earth? That's for... Um, China. And I see, so there is a machine that's locking and unlocking one of one of those two doors. You're gonna regret this. <laughs> Let me show him the real fireball. So I'm still missing some places, let me keep exploring. Should we fight that? Let's fight that. Don't get too comfortable. I'm getting super lost in here. So there are two different rooms. Oh, there is also this door? What? Hmm. 
But there were two different rooms where uh, that had the prisoners, right? There is one if I go straight ahead from there and And the other one that has two doors on its sides. But then what do I need to do now? Do I need to return? Oh. Is it protecting the... Oh, wait. I see. The, the protection system is like maybe by activating those two switches on the floor. Okay, maybe after beating this guy, we'll be able to accomplish the mission. So, Kratos? Yes, but it is activated. So we did it. Don't get too comfortable. There was a door that was locked as well, right? Don't overdo it. First day. <laughs> and that door will only open after disabling the control the control room back here but let's leave Kvar to Lloyd and the others Can I check that map again? Wait, we can shop in here? Maybe it is something on this direction. Like there are two claws, right? Yes, that's it. The rooms, they look a lot like the same, but there are two sides and two claws. Uh, when Saburo was saying that it looks like a claw, it does. And that's what's going on. 
Yasubo yes, more free free heal places. Although yesterday we got some heals, but one of those free heals was not for free because we paid to stay a night on the hotel. And then they gave us a free night in the hotel just after that. Sometimes the dungeons in here remind me of Zeno Gears because sometimes they have the same designs or they are not very distinct from each other. The rooms are very like the same. That was a struggle that I had in Zeno Gears. Of course, in here it's better because the, the, the dungeons or the places are. Smaller than the ones in Zeno Gears, but I still get a little bit confused or lost. Never had a chance. So now we will finally disable the control system. And can we go back to the people that were trying to fight Kivar? Now we need to hurry and meet up in Kivar's room. Alright, it moved. Just wait Kivar, I will take you down. Let's go fight. Yeah, we are pretty good, let's go. Wait, is that the the leader of the Cardinals found you, that they were talking about yesterday? I don't know her name though. At least I don't think I know her name. But I know they were talking about the the leader of the Grand Cardinals yesterday and that she was a woman, so I'm guessing that's her. I have found you, Kvar. Maybe that's why I don't know her name, because she hasn't um, told us her name yet. So this is Lloyd, I see he does bear a resemblance. So, you've come. Of course we did. Appreciate it if you wouldn't change the subject, Pronima. Pronima. Stealing research data from my Angelus project. I grow tired of your accusations, Kvar. As I have told you, I know nothing of it. Stubborn woman. I suppose I should expect no less from one who usurped the leadership of the five grand cardinals. Take heed, Pronima. Once I retrieve the x ray from this inferior being, I will become the leader of the five grand cardinals. When that happens, You'll be begging for my forgiveness. You speak nonsense, Kvar. I've also heard that Rodan has talked you into joining him in one of his schemes. And who is Rodile? Wait, uh, we have met Kivar, now Pronima. We also fought Magnus. Then we have Bota. Am I missing another one? Maybe Rodio is the fifth Grand Cardinal that I don't remember. What? Saburu Miss Chocolate? Oh! What What about her? She's not in here though. So the Mana Cannon is no longer a secret? Well, it doesn't matter. 
Once I succeed in retrieving that X sphere, any suspicions I might have been under will be but a distant memory. You're not gonna take this from me! Here we go. Alright, let's go! Oh my god, that energy stone resists all the elements? Okay, so Kivar is a specialist in writing attacks? Shina, focus on the minions. Rip Shina, she was killed because she was too close to Kivar. Oh my god! I was thinking that Rain would be healing her. Rain is not doing it. Lemon Jow. Can we stop attacking Shina, please? Good job, Rain, on defending. Okay, Shina is finally attacking the minions. So I guess I will be the one to distract Kivar. But I can't die, of course. He's calling me. Of course I'm going. <laughs> Don't doubt me. Okay, now I need to heal though. Rain, uh, keep using first aid, but use it on me. I'm dead. Everyone is dying. Will she have time though? She had time. But now she's dead. It's okay, it's okay, we still can do this. Okay, now let's use lemon gel on 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 rain or on Sheena? I will use it on rain. Hey, be careful. Okay, Sheena is defending. Okay, Sheena, now it's your time. Lemon gel on yourself. Thank goodness the the boss like Kivar. I have no idea what he's doing. He's kind of losing his time to kill us. Okay, now I'm back. I'm not back. Sheena, I need you. Are you okay? No way. I was doing so well, but then suddenly he killed everyone. We gotta get rid of the minions. Ready? 
Pilot, how's it going, man? Uh, how's your Sunday? You came to a very critical part of this fight. Oh my god, he's going to kill Rain. Rain is dead. Yeah, Rain needs to hang in there. Rain again. Yes, we I did it. Finally. And maybe Shina was also able to destroy another one. Is Sparkway? Oh my God. Kivar is not a joke. Yes, Shina. Destroy Demon the bird. last minion Demon bird. Demon. while I'm trying to dis to distract him with demon things. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Yeah, there there goes Rain. Life bottle. Okay, if nobody's going to destroy the final minion, I will do it. Yes! Okay, now it's only him, guys. It's only him. Uh, let's keep the girls attacking while I'll be, do uh, I'll be doing the healing. I believe Rain is healing. I don't have to lose. We're doing great, man. We just got back from exploring a wildlife conservation center. Which animals did you see there? Let's go, Shina! Don't let him use that. Yes! Always get your item stocks updated, right? Because holy, this was kind of critical. So you were able to see mooses, bears, bis bisons, right? Bisons, wolves, etc. Some very um, wild and kind of dangerous animals in there. How much health does he have left? Thank goodness, not a lot. Thank you guys, but this was not easy. Uh, maybe it was ex especially hard because we were fighting him with three party members, not four, like the whole party. But still, it was hard to manage it because his attacks were very strong. And then we also took forever to get rid of the minions, which I always think it's the first it's the first thing to be done. But thankfully with some patience, we were able to do it and also when I was being the one responsible to heal the party, because Rainy was not doing the job um, consistently, or constantly, right? Why is he touching the, the Axis Fear? Oh, because of that. Really? Yeah, she's taken back to Isilia. Look out! What? Lloyd, are you 
okay? Yeah, but you're... I'm fine, really. You bastard! Is she Subaru? Kratos, you pathetic inferior being! Feel the pain. <laughs> of those inferior beings. As you burn in hell. Colette, that wound. I don't know what's worse here, that... Colette's getting that hurt, or that my party members are freaking soulless. Colette, hang on! Colette, your wound! Thanks for worrying about me, but I'm really okay. For some reason, it doesn't hurt. Uh, you have seen black bears, brown bears, wolves, coyotes, moose, lin a lynx? Damn, a lynx? That sounds so great! A bison, a bald eagle, a reindeer, I don't know what's a muskox? Porcupines, deers, owls, an elk, and foxes. What's a muskox? Oh wait, maybe it is an ox. It is a knot. He looks so weird because he also looks like a, a goat because of his horns. It's like a mix of ox and, and a goat. Maybe not really a goat, but um, it's not the goat that I'm thinking, never mind. But I don't know the name of that, that animal. You know the animal that's the symbol of the first sign of Zodiac? Or Zodiac? I believe it's pronounced Arise, Arise, it's something like that. So it was interesting to see that he has the same horns. Hopefully I could remember the way to pronounce it. I think it is Arise. Uh, thanks for worrying about me, but I'm really okay. For some reason it doesn't hurt, but you got seriously injured. <laughs> Strange, huh? Oh, that's the name of the animal? A ram? Yeah, that's the animal that I was thinking. Wait, um... Yes, it is, yeah, it is this, this animal, it's like the male ship, right? Let me write that down.
strange, huh? You certainly are not okay. Rain, you can use healing arts, right? Yes, but... Colette, I can't keep it a secret any longer. Everyone, listen to what I have to say. Colette can no longer feel anything. What? What do you mean? Colette is growing closer to becoming an angel. Now she can't sleep, or feel hot or cold, or pain or anything. She can't even cry. Becoming an angel means losing her humanity. Lloyd, it's okay. I'm okay. So, right now, we need to do something about this ranch. Right, Lloyd? Professor, can you destroy it like last time? I'll give it a try. Well, that's kind of extreme. But I suppose it is the best idea. Are you serious? Is Subaru right that she won't, like, suffer any a little bit? So that's raw dial. Who do not worry, for I shall carry on the angelus. Kivar is dead, Drew. And he stabbed uh, Colette. And then my party members they got crazy as well and they they were brutal to 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 kill him. These people are so messed up, and my party members as well. Let's go back to town first. We can talk about what to do next after that. Nobody's going to talk about the situation that just happened in there? Like, with Lloyd and Kratos being extremely aggressive? Lewin is in shambles right now. Are you sure Colette will be able to rest there? Perhaps Asgard would be a better choice. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Lloyd, I trust that's fine with you? Yeah. I'm sorry, everyone. Sabri is saying that it was a normal situation, but it's usually not shown in games. I know what you're saying, like, we were fighting him normally and trying to kill him, uh, to beat him. But I still thought that we were exceeding our limits, like, one stab is enough. But no, they decided to take this, feel this. Take that and stab you again, and I stab this for my parrot, and I stab this for my dog. They were stabbing him for no reasons. Uh, uh, it was not necessary to be keep going with that, you know. Th that's my point. Uh, one stab, it's over. Like the person will probably die from the injury. No, they were like. Subaru. So each time Colette releases the seal and takes a step closer to becoming an angel, she loses a part of what makes her human. Lloyd and Kratos are losing their humanity as well. Losing her humanity, that's terrible. Then what's going to happen to her in the end? What is going to happen to her in the end? Not only that, but after after she regenerates the world, she will be all alone and she will be all alone as the only angel in the world, right? No! Isn't
isn't Remio an angel? Isn't Remio in the world? She's not going to be the only angel. That's too cruel. Uh, that's... Professor, it's okay. But Colette... I'm sorry to worry everyone right now, things are a little difficult. But once I become a complete angel, it may be a lot easier, so don't worry, it's okay. A uh, fifth cent took nine. I didn't know that. He took nine shots and didn't die. And didn't die, and he survived. Why would one single hit be be sufficient? The guy was still alive. Yes, that's right. I didn't know this story about fifty cent. Was it after he became famous or before he became famous? But it is too hard on you. If you are tired, you you want to sleep, don't you? Don't you miss the taste of the food you like? And you can't even feel the warmth of someone when you hold their hand. You should just stop this crazy word regeneration. Thank you, Sheena. But if I quit now, all the people suffering throughout the world won't be saved. I was born for the sake of the word regeneration, so I'm going to make sure I do my job, okay? Somebody saying it was in the beginning of his career, when, he's, he, on, when he was still part of a gang. There is a movie that shows that? That's actually very impressive that he was able to survive after getting shot nine times. Yes, that is the fate of the Chosen. And also, he doesn't look like someone that got problems after getting shot nine times, uh, does he? For example, usually when someone is badly injured, the person will have some mobility problems and I don't think he has that or at least I never realized in case he had such a problem uh, isn't there anything we can do find some way where Colette doesn't have to become an angel the world will be regenerated when the chosen becomes an angel it's always been like that and it probably always will be so so you're really okay with things the way they are now But here's the thing, Colette got stabbed, that's a fact. And even though she can't feel pain, her body should be getting hurt, right? Maybe in a situation just like Morphin, uh, you don't feel pain but you still die. Uh, you, you are still mortal. Is Colette already mortal? That's why she's fine right now and who cares that about that stab? And now I can be the shield to everyone because nothing kills me? Uh, Subri is saying he remembers the, the scene of the last shot. The guy pointed the gun to his head, but his, his mother called him. So the shooter was distracted and then the shot took on his... Wait, the shot got to his mouth and he survived, but then he took some time to be able to return to sing? Damn! I wonder what was the situation, like if it was some revenge situation or some money issue situation or maybe the guy was maybe jealous of 50 Cent's success or career Maybe it was also because of love? Or maybe it was just a robbery? Uh, which one? I'm sure both of them do. Wait, both of them do. Alright, but Colette, the path you have chosen is not going to be easy, you know? Yes, professor. I won't accept this, there has to be another way.
Oh, we can read books? Uh, there is a volume 3 to that Chronica and Jellerum. Is everybody else as sick of reading this as I am? No, I'm not sick. I want to keep reading them. Apparently not, yeah. Uh, his works complete, Mitas proclaimed. The great tree is no more, yet life has need of manna. Is this how the Axis Fears thing started? And so I need... Wait, and so I now seed my mortal form that it may become sustenance to the world. I will embrace a sleep eternal here in the shadow of the withered tree. Midas' form dissolved into the earth and the people mourned him. None more than the goddess who was so overcome with grief, she fled to the heavens and into abiding slumber. The world was deprived of its hero and its deity both, and the seal, the seal wrought by their power slowly ebbed in strength. This is the second time that this dirty word showed in a game to me, rot. I still remember the day that I read it in Xenogears and I was like, how the hell can I pronounce that? And it has so many silent letters that thankfully I was able to learn how to pronounce that freaking word, it's rot. You ignore the W, you ignore the U, you ignore the G, the H, and it's only R-O-T, like rot. So yeah, thank goodness I learned my lesson, and hopefully I won't make that mistake anymore, but that's a dirty word. When it finally broke, the designs were loosed once more upon the world, and all life was plunged into despair. It was an angel born of Mito's mana that delivered- wait, I said Xenogears? It was not in Xenogears, it was in Mist. It was an angel born of Mito's mana that delivered the light of hope back onto the world. Borrowing the power of the summon spirits, the angel scaled the tower to heaven, and there prayed to Martel. Wow, Mitos is the guy who made Mena? No, he... Lloyd, it's a fairy tale, it's an alleg allegory, it's a metaphor. Uh, you are glazing over again. Look, it's not historical fact. It's a made-up story... A made-up story... Excuse me, but is that word spelled right? Isn't it like define? Hey pilot, how's it going man? Yes, there is another 10k bit icon in here. It's probably Drew, right? Uh, pilot, can you tell me if that word right there is spelled you are slowly making me rich <laughs> you guys don't need to to donate don't don't feel you need to do it man can you tell me if define in there is spelled right isn't it like d e f y i n g there is an i in there that i don't think it is right I want to know if it is misspelled. Maybe it is not misspelled, but I'm surprised it has a 9 there. Oh, because it is an entire different word? That makes sense. So let me try to find the meaning of it.
oh you are giving it to me it's it means worshiping something or someone as a god but is it pronounced the same is it defined or is it something else So it has an extra sound. Deifying. Did I get it? It comes from Diri, meaning a god. I got it. Dear fine. Yeah, I could see it. it its origins um, from Diri, but it's written so differently, though. Like the F. It's not with T anymore. If it is made up, why? Are we bothering to read it? Uh, Lloyd, pragmatic, pragmatic to a fault. I will read that again because I think it was important, but I'm not sure if I got everything. Okay, so the great tree was extinguished, but then life still needed mana. And then he kind of sacrificed himself, right? Yeah, he he gave his mortal form so he could bring mana to the world. And then the goddess was upset about that, and she fled to the heavens. And then because they both were kind of... Outside reality, or out reality, Eventually, the seal that was protecting the world from evil, it broke, and then the Zions were back. I see. And then it was an angel born of Mitha's mana that delivered the light of hope back to you to, you to the world. And borrowing the power of the summoned spirits, the angel scaled the tower to heaven and there prayed to Martel. Okay, so this new angel that got the power of Mitos tried to get the goddess' attention back to what was happening in the real world. Uh, in the real world. Because Mitos is gone forever, but the goddess just left us behind, right? So she could still help us out.
Hey Thor, how's it going, man? I'm surprised you're not streaming yet. Um, were you sleeping uh, the whole day? So they brought us back to Asgard. Where do we need to go next? Because we still don't know how to open the door to to the tower, uh, the Tower of Mana. And the dragons were not in in Hima. Oh wait, maybe they want us to go back to Isilia because of chocolate. I don't know where to go next. Oh, today's our mother's birthday. Happy birthday to her. Are you doing a party there? Avenge? Mom, I'm avenged you. Lloyd, the one who killed your mother was your father. Are you really able to say you have avenged her? The one who created the situation that forced Dad to kill Mom was Kivar, right? Indeed, it was a silly question, I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. I still want to learn more about this... Lloyd's mother's death. Because it's... It's still weird that his dad had the had the guts to kill his wife you pick you're going to pick some soda uh, your dad your sister and friends of her went to your house to celebrate that's great man hopefully you guys are having also some great snacks maybe some coxinhas <laughs> or maybe at least a cake but, yeah man, that sounds great. We were talking about some birthday snacks earlier today. Because birthdays in Brazil is completely different than birthdays in other countries, right? And they unfortunately don't have our snacks. Yeah, go there man, go there, that's, that's okay. Wait, game? There we go. Chicken or the egg? The designs are half elves? Yes, it's said that they are almost entirely composed of half elves. Why would you bring... That was so fast. I was just thinking, are they the same blood as me? How can they do such terrible things? Uh, that's right, you are an elf. Yeah, but he's half-elf, isn't he? Uh, when I think about how they are at least half-human, half I have to wonder... Don't you think it's because they have been persecuted? That's because they treat us like cattle. Wait a second! Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Wait, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't... Janice and Rain. I need to check that. Aren't they half elves? You think it was the egg, Saburu? I kind of think it was the egg as well. Oh, wait. Shina Fujibayashi. She's a mysterious assassin. An assassin who kills in the darkness of Twilight with shadows... Shadows of sorrow in her eyes. But aren't they half elves? I mean, they are not the Zions, but I could swear they were half elves, not a hundred percent elves. Definitely the egg. I also agree it was the egg. 
Because maybe, I don't know, um, we got like a, an, an egg for another creature, but thanks to, I don't know, <laughs> I want to say RNG, <laughs> thanks to RNG, the result of that egg was a chicken, not the original creature, it should have, um, that should have been born. So, I think it was the egg. If you don't consider a chicken egg in, in, in particular, it was totally the egg, because it doesn't matter which egg, right? But then something happened that the eggs started to breed chicken. That's what I think. Uh, Victor thinks that, at least from what the game has stated so far, they are elves, so they are 100% elves. Wait, the dog of your sister just peed in your door? Oh my god, go go do something about that, man. Uh, go do something about that. Don't let your mother do that work for you today, right? Because it's her birthday. Don't get I'm still trying don't to understand where do I need to go right now? The only place on my mind is Azilia, but I have no idea if that's where I should really be going. Let me think a little bit. If it is not Azilia, then it would be the Tower of Mana, right? But the Tower of Mana is locked. But what if... I... I go back to... to Lowing? And there is something different going on in there. Uh, just out of curiosity, how many hours have you put in the game so far? I think 30 something? 30... 38, almost 39. A creature led an egg, I agree. And then a superior being was born of that egg, the chicken. That's also what I think that happened. Uh, check the synopsis to see if there is any new information about where to go next. <laughs> I know which song you want me to listen to, Thor. The chicken was evolutionary, or evolutionarily. Okay, there is an L and a Y in the end. Evolutionarily, something different before. At some point, enough changed to become. Wait, to officially become a chicken. So a non-chicken led an egg that became the first chicken, that's what I think as well. And then this first bird came from the reptiles or the... Okay, how are they called in English? Oh my god, I don't know. The frog. Uh, what's a frog? Uh, what's the frog's class uh, in, in biology? Amphibious? It's not, right? I'm trying to translate it directly from Portuguese. I, I don't know the name of that class of like frogs in, in, in English. Yeah, Saburu also said something around those lines, Pilot. But what's the class of, of animals like frogs that live in the earth and also on the land? And phi something? Because in Portuguese it is like that, it's amphibio. I'm trying to think on, on the English word. But yes, the birds, they came either from reptiles or... Amphi amphibious or amphibious? Amphibious sounds more correct, so I will say amphibious. Amphibians maybe? Okay, maybe it is amphibians. Yeah, th that's the word that I'm trying to get. But is it unfi or unfi? Unfi, right? Because those were the first creatures to lay eggs. Or to lay eggs. So... Amphibians are amphibious. I'm right? It's unfi, right? It sounds more right. It sounds very like to Portuguese, which is amphibio. Oh, 
Okay, let's check the synopsis as Victor suggested. But then, Victor, I also think that the synopsis sometimes messes up with the order of the messages. For example, this is a very old message, but it's the first in there. Uh, this is about tonight, right? Yeah, I believe this is the last message then. Uh, for the second time, Lloyd and the others made their way into the range, splitting up into two groups before delving deeper. The group Lloyd left behind managed to rescue the Exosphere host bodies. After disabling the range guard system, Lloyd and the others finally came face to face with Kvar. Upon defeating the range master, the other group caught up with Lloyd, but due to a moment's carelessness, wait, carelessness, carelessness, but due to a moment's carelessness, Lloyd found his life in danger. Colette saved Lloyd by throwing herself in front of him, sustaining a blow that would have killed a normal person. Amazingly, Colette shrugged off the strike like it was nothing, and then her body, which had lost its senses completely, was no longer human. After finishing off Kvar, Lloyd told the party about the changes that have been occurring within Colette. The group then succeeded in destroying the Asgard human rage. However, Lloyd was having second thoughts on whether Colette's journey was really the best thing for her. <laughs> Victor? <laughs> that was not helpful, man. But I will do what I was saying. I will go back to Lewin. And if there isn't anything in there, I will also check You're the Tower of Mana. And if there isn't anything in there, it's okay. I will... I will go back to Hima as well, although I don't, I'm not expecting it to have any differences. And my last hope will be returning to Isilia because that's where Chocolate is located. It's fine. It's fine if the game is not really helping me out on where I need to go next. I know that eventually, sooner or later, we'll find our way. Sounds like a good plan? Yeah, man, it gotta be one of those places, right? Maybe we won't get it in our first try, but it gotta be one of those places. Uh, Sabri saying, the yellow synopsis, what do they mean? I'm not sure, to be honest. Does that mean that they are getting updated? No, they are not. Maybe they are like chapters? And by the way, Boatsman's book? Pietro de Scapi from Nazgard range had lost his mind to a curse that struck everyone who managed to flee the range. Apparently, a healing formula from Boatsman's book located in the Tower of Mana could set him free from the dark curse. That plus healing Clara as well, right? Because Clara is... Even in a worse situation, Lloyd and the others promised to search for a boatsman's book and restore Pietro's mind. Uh, does your horse have head and wings? Or oh, head wings? I think so. Or long ears, actually. It's, it's his ears. I don't think he can fly. That was a new message and it was in a very low part of this of this list. You know what, Subaru? I believe the yellow ones. Oh my God! I I, I can get them now. The yellow the, the yellow ones they mean things that are still not finished. For example, the sleeping unicorn is something that we found, but we couldn't save him yet. This boatsman's book is also something that we still need to get. 
And then the mysterious seal. Yeah, we still need to go there and break the seal. Exactly, it means not completed. Uh, let's go check the Tower of Mana first. still like the same I I can't see any ways for us to to enter then let's go to Luin actually you know you know what let's check the destroyed human range as well why not do anything else in here. Okay, let's head to Lewin. Unless they wanted me to explore Asgard a little bit more. Because they... they brought me back to Asgard. Is Lewin on the other side of the bridge? I don't think it is on the other side of the bridge, right? But that's the tower. Oh, Louis is right here. Oh yeah, because maybe this is the place that we we need to return. You know why? Because weren't we able to rescue the villagers of this place? So they should be back here, right? We rescued the, the villagers with Janice, Colette, and and Kratos. They are not back to Louis? So where are they? The key to the Tower of Mana is still lost to that monster? To that monster? Which monster? And without the key, I can't enter the Tower of Mana. I have failed as a priest of Luin. I wonder where that monster is now. Does it appear in cities that aren't destroyed as well? Clara? Yes, there was a person from Palma Costa, you're right. I would love to have a map for the map. But now this guy is giving us some very useful information. We need to seek a monster in order to find the key to, to the Tower of Mana and he, he or she or Clara, I don't know, might be 
in a city and this guy takes us to Hima let's go with him yeah I know that there isn't much in there Victor but at the same time at the same time they don't have anywhere else to go right there is something going on in here uh, what's that it looks like there is something going on in front of the inn it's a fight it is Clara all right, it's weakening. Finish it off. Stop! Don't interfere. This is our prey. Clara, stop. We want to save you. Please, calm down. Subaru, that's one more trip to the counter. But then Kara has the key? Damn it, after that monster. Colette, Professor, are you alright? Oh wait, she dropped the key. Janice just got it. Yes. Clara dropped this? This is the key of the Tower of Mana. I see, Clara was the one that took the key to the tower. I hope she's safe. Yeah, let's go to the Tower of Mana and get and get Boatsman's book. Or to learn his healing technique for Clara and Pietro. That sounds good, but what about Clara right now? Are they still chasing her? I started the journey as per the teachings of the Church of Martel, but man this is tiresome. I hope Clara was able to to run away from them. Victor, I have a question, but of course, if it is not like a place that I have been yet, you don't tell me the name of it, but I want to ask you if I have been to your favorite place in this game. I'm asking you that because I do have some favorite places in me. I still haven't been to it. I do have some favorite places or even moments in some of my favorite games. For example, my RPG, I have three favorite places in there. Oh, it will take me a while before I get there. That's okay. My favorite places in my RPG, most of them are in the very end of the game as well. There is only one that's kind of in the middle part of it. So now we need to go back to the Tower of Mana. I think I will start it and maybe beat it. Uh, it's still 10 p.m. in my place, so we do have some time. Gotta know where to go. And then after this tower, we may call it a night. Um, okay, but I need to go across or around this whole mountain, right? Let me, let me ask you another thing, Victor. Have I heard your favorite music in this game? Looming? You think so? 
uh, can you give me a moment or a city that it was playing? Oh, but it's difficult to pick a favorite tune? Yeah. But one of your favorites, maybe. Like, top three. You love the music in Isilia just in the start of the game. I love the music in Triad. That music is one of my favorites for sure. But then there was another one that I also loved, but I'm trying to remember which one was it. The one in Asgard. I think the music in Asgard is also great. Maybe those two were my favorites, but then there are some other very great musics or very great songs, for example, Sheena's theme. Uh, when we were fighting Sheena, there is a very upbeating or upbeat song that plays. And then also the song in the in the designs secret base, right? Although there is a tune that's very high on your list, that's it's only heard for a short minute. You won't hear for a long while. I have the feeling. I have the feeling you said something like that before. For example, maybe I got the part that the song was playing. And then you were saying, no, but now it's going to take forever until we listen to this again? That sounds familiar. Uh, let's save it in here. And let's check this place out. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Usually towers... Oh, you might have said that about another two. Let's get out of here. No way. Gotta know when to go. I do like towers in games in general. So I'm very excited about this place. The last important tower that I remember that we explored in video games was... Babor's Tower in Xenogears, and that place was one of the best areas of that game for sure. Let's see if this Tower of Mana is going to be any close to that. So it's like a big library. Wow, that's a lot of books! Oh, just think of all the knowledge contained within those books! Hey, it's an oracle stone! It's just as written in the Book of Regeneration, this is a seal. Colette, if you would, please, I still don't know which element. Is this seal off? I would say either lightning or light. It didn't open. No, look at that magic circle. Welcome back, Thor. Uh, marvelous, this apparatus has awoken due to an oracle stone. So we must just need to do something with that apparatus. So it would seem. This looks interesting. Lloyd, stand on that blue circle. Uh, okay. Janice, you go to that one. Okay. Why do I have the feeling this looks like a trap? 
I think it is one of those two, we will find out soon. If, if I really need to guess, I would say electricity, because I don't understand why they would give us the light dungeon that early. Uh, usually when there is a dungeon based on light power, it's one of the last ones, if not the last one. So I would say this is the lightning one, if I need to guess. But then I don't know what lightning has to do with books. But it has something to do with towers, uh, regarding... Oh, uh, Thor, that's because we were able to get to the minimum amount of sub points that which is also giving to affiliates. You know that some partners, uh, some Twitch partners, they have like a lot of emotes uh, and they have something that happens for a long time for them that uh, depending on how many subscribers they have, Twitch will give them extra emote slots. So they also did something like that to affiliate. Um, I don't remember exactly how many you need to get to unlock the first one, but I'm guessing 15. So once you get to 15 points or 15 subs, Twitch will allow you to have a new emote for anyone that subscribes to you in in the first... Um, how is it called? In the first tier, there we go, in the first tier. So yeah, and then after 15, I think it is 10 more, maybe 25. So thanks to that, I was able to get to 3 emotes, or to 3 emote slots. You have 9 right now, so you're getting there, man. Um, you will soon get to 15, and then you have this emote slot open to you, that won't ever be removed. Even if you eventually drop the number of subs that you have. So basically it's a benefit that Twitch has been given to affiliates. I, of course I do man, you have been getting more viewers, more uh, people interacting and also your channel has been growing so of course I think you will be get, it, you get there. Wow, it opened professor. Huh? What the? It seems that it won't open without three people on these circles. So this is their way to make me split my party again. Which means that three of us must remain here, yes. It is dangerous but we have little choice. Yes, wouldn't want the door to be closed when we come back out. Then Lloyd choose three people other than Colette to remain here. Me? Well, okay. Does Rain have a split personality? Only when we have like artifacts or mythology in front of us. I'm sorry she's a little strange but she's a good person at heart. Colette, are you alright? Thanks for worrying about me, but I'm fine. Okay. Well, who are we going to get to our party and who are we going to live in here? Wait, you got a big raid yesterday, man? Congrats! Uh, this is why I want so much to improve yourself? That's awesome, man. Uh, also, I when I stopped by our stream, we were also having a lot of fun in... Uh, in league, because you were playing with a different character that you usually don't don't use, so you should be trying that more often. Like uh, maybe you get to a character that uh, you can surprise yourself, and you can make it work, and then maybe you can even start playing more with that character. I think I will leave Rain this time. I know Rain is great, but I will leave Rain in here, and then I will have Kratos with me, then Colette is a sure thing, right? And then it's either Sheena or Janice. I do like Sheena, 
but with Kratos in my party, I don't need her. So I will go with Janice. Yes. Wait. No, 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 this is not what I was planning. Oh my god! I won't have a four... <laughs> a four people party, right? So I could only pick one. Well, this proves that I don't know how to do math, right? Uh, Kratos, no! I regret everything. Oh. Not only the dog or the wolf, right, Subaru? Also the the summon that that Shina has. Uh, how is Corinne, right, the fox? They could be one living being to be pressing those buttons right there. But no Subaru. This is not the time for them to be helping us out, unfortunately. Kratos! It's okay though. Um, Genesis is also great, but I will be the healer in this party. So that's some responsibility. It seems that we can read some books. Actually, maybe lots of books. So let's check them out. I'm screaming Kratos because Kratos is this guy. And he was the one that I wanted to have in my party the most. But then accidentally... <laughs> I picked the wrong... Person to be in my party. But he's good too, but I wish I had Kratos. Wait, what happens if I talk to Kratos? Wait... Yes! Okay, we got him. Thank you, Victor. He's with us. We good. We saved. This Kratos is different, it is. Actually, they pronounce his name in this game like Kratos. But I have been saying Kratos because I'm more used to say Kratos. Let's check this. Uh, there is a book titled The Triad Tragedy. Yes. Nora, the chosen at the time, arrived at Ifrit's temple that was located in the center of Old Triad in order to perform the ritual of regener regeneration. My tongue got twisted now. Uh, Thor, you feel free to talk in Portuguese if you want, but I will answer you in English if it is possible, and I believe it is because you understand me, right? But if you want to type things in Portuguese, feel free to do it. Although I support you to try to speak in English, even if it is not uh, written properly, because nobody here is going to judge you, and it's a chance for you to improve it. <laughs> yeah, now you have freedom to type in Portuguese if you want, man. Nora. Who's Nora? Uh, Nora, the chosen at the time, arrived at Ifrit's temple. Okay, I remember Ifrit's temple. That was located in the center of Old Triad in order to perform the ritual of regeneration. One of the priests became violent during the ritual and the Cruxix unleashed the wrath of God. So Ifrit became crazy. Uh, this is the beginning of what became known as... Oh! This is how Triad was destroyed when we were first in there, right? Like they were saying that in the past Triad was destroyed and everyone was afraid of the ruins. So this is the beginning of what became known as Ifrit's Hellfire. Okay, it's the same book. Uh, there is a book titled The Prosperity of Belacruf Dynasty. Oh my god! <laughs> Thor, thank you so much for the sub, but you don't need to do it, man. Thank you so much. When am I going to do a react of a K-pop video? 
that's something that I will leave to you, man. You are the K-pop master, I'm just a little kid that's, I don't know, um, curious about it, but not into the whole thing yet. But you are the, you are the man of K-pop. Let's read this other book. Uh, the first ruler of Belacroft dynasty was the Empress Aisha. Aisha? Wait, Aisha was the name of the of the, the woman that was almost sacrificed in Asgard. Was she a direct descendant of this Aisha? Uh, your sub symbol sub symbol is uh, Nern, right? Which is the like the the logo, the image of of the channel. It's a nerd. Or uma urna uh, in Portuguese. That girl must be connected, right, to to this empress. Not only was she intelligent, but was said to be very beautiful. Her name is her name is still very common today due to the prosperity during her reign. Yeah, exactly. There is a reason why uh, this channel is named like that. Uh, the, the, the explanation is on the description, but if you want, I can tell I can tell it to you. But I don't know if you will get it, but I hope you will. Yeah, he's asking me that. So, um, I saw the... Okay, I, I have seen it. Yes, you showed it to me because it was colored, right? Uh, the artist colored it to you, right? But yeah, this, this channel's name is because of... Uh, how can I say it? Like a meme, but not really a meme. That it was one of the first things I had read on Twitch when I first started to watch Twitch. It, it happened in Twitch Plays Pokemon. Uh, I'm, I used to be a big fan of that channel. And in there, many people used to spam like... It's the urn! Or... Actually, it was it should be it's the run for the meaning of this is the time that you're going to beat the game or this is the time that we will finally be able to progress. When we have the uh, those situations, people can say that it's the run. Uh, it's like the time for you to finally accomplish something great in the in video games. But because of excitement, people was or people were misspelling it. And then they were saying they earn, just like how it's it's written there. And then earn is another word in English. So I decided to use that sentence or to use that meme as the channel's idea, because one of my best times in, uh, on Twitch was when I used it to watch Twitch plays Pokemon. And then it was the only idea that, 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 that I could get to relate my experience on Twitch and also to give some good background to the channel as a sort of um, trying new games out. Like, I'm going to play some games and I will see if I will be able to accomplish the earn or I will, if I will be able to beat them or if I'm going to get so stressed and if it's going to be super frustrating, and then I'm going to riot. I, I, w I won't be able to really beat those games. So basically that's the idea, but I can explain that to you later uh, if you want to talk about that. But it's basically, am I going to be able to beat those games or not? Basically that's the idea of the name of the channel. And there were games that I was able to beat, thankfully most of them. But there were also games that I wasn't able to beat. At least yet. Wait, why is she surprised? There are some difficult looking books here. Let's come back later? 
later. I don't know if I can trust that, but... I will write that down, maybe it is important. A uh, bookshelf. In... The Tower of Mana. You are a little confused, that's okay man. It's hard to explain, but I will... Talk about that in another chance. Yeah, that's going to help you out for sure. But the idea is if I will be able to beat games or not. But the origin is a bit more hard for me to, to really explain. Yeah, it's basically the run misspelled and then it became the urn. Uh, why are you feeling sad, man? Don't be sad. It's your mother's birthday. There is no reason for you to be sad. Oh yeah, that's true, Yoda. People also misspell Riot as Rito. That, that's true. <laughs> I, I, I remember seeing that in Twitch Place Pokemon as well. You are frustrated? Don't be, man. Don't be frustrated. We can talk about that um, as well if you want. There is a book titled The Life of a Priest. Uh, yes, uh, when you join the Church of Marta, you must journey to Aizilia, known as the Village of Oracles. Okay, because that church was next to Aizilia, yes, I remember. Uh, you will then train at the Marta Temple located north of the village, I remember that. The training is said to be extremely taxing and more than half give up every year. And that's the same book. Um, I don't think that's that's true, but we can totally talk about that later, man. But I don't think you are failing on on your things. And I'm I'm actually surprised you are telling me that now because honestly, not long ago you were telling me the opposite that you were super happy about how things were looking for you and how many people have been stopping by your channel and stuff and how very cool people have been stopping by there I really don't think you were failing with you shouldn't be that frustrated I don't think it's looking bad the situation is not looking uh, that bad uh, the legendary Oatmate recipe is kept safe by the Wonder Chef family that's the most important book it is said that m it's said that mere words cannot describe its taste and will bring a smile to anyone. The Dark Chef Ali The Dark Chef Alliance is also after the recipe and the bloody kitchen battle wages on. What? Wait, I The ultimate recipe I really love how they give such importance to the Wonder Chef. I really wish I could find him more often. But I love this <laughs> this deep lore about the Wonder Chef. You know what would be my dream? If the Wonder Chef could join my party. If he could join my party, I, I would be done with this game, seriously. Wait, what, Thor? I'm very confused. Uh, let's see. Let's go... Let's go north. We can't. Hopefully those skulls are not that mini boss from from some weeks ago, right? Don't get too comfortable. Green Reapers? <gasps> oh my god! 
Are you guys seeing his sword? Are you guys seeing the living sword? Here comes another reference. This game has been great regarding references, by the way. It's like every time I play this, I think on another reference. Oh my god, I can't believe that sword. But I'm pretty sure... Okay, okay, I'm not wrong. Uh, this is what I was thinking on. Wait, is it bright enough? It looks a lot like the Thundercats sword. This game has remind me of Thundercats, Bobby's World. The, can, can you see it, Saburu? It's a lot like it, especially the red core with the black puppet. Uh, let's use the the magnifying glass, right? Or the magic the magic lenses. They resist physical attacks. And those ones are weak to light. Maybe getting Kratos in here was not a good idea in the end, because if these enemies are going to resist physical, then using magic would be the way, right? But I also wanted Kratos. Never mind, guys, what am I saying? Kratos is like a perfect mix. Kratos can heal, Kratos can use physical, and Kratos has magic. I, I should not forget that Kratos has magic. I, is it like the best magic ever? No, but it's still magic. Kratos is the most complete character in this game. He does anything, he, he can. He can be whatever I want. Leave it to me. Oh my god, is that a, a teddy bear? <laughs> right, Subaru, he does everything. The only thing that he doesn't do is... Like using support magic. But he has everything else. Blame your fate. <laughs> Fido Bear. This tower reminds me of Pokemon Black and White and the Dragon Spiral Tower. White silver? I was looking for that because we can use it as a material so we can Yes, yeah, so we can craft some some better weapons and armors. But I was saying that I have the feeling this place is going to be short. Or at least so far it's so linear. Very, very linear. Specters? Yeah, 
yes, uh, the, the Pokédex registers the, uh, the drop items. There is an item that I also need, but I still haven't found it. I don't remember its name, but I will identify it once it shows up. Armored Helm. It drops my intelligence. That's better for Lloyd, right? Because I'm guessing that intelligence raises magic attacks. And like I was just saying, Kratos knows magic attacks. So this is better for Lloyd that doesn't use magic attacks. And welcome back to dancing. How was the workout? Hopefully, uh, you are able to complete the exercises, but also I'm hoping you are not too tired. I remember one of these days you were saying you were about to go for swimming. I need to go back to swimming as well, but I have been first lazy and second afraid of going to the pool and it being very cold, like cold water. I don't want to swim in cold water. It was very successful. Good job. <laughs> How... Uh, how do you say it again? Like, you're getting swole? <laughs> Are you getting swole, Joe Dancing? Oh, this looks interesting. I really like this room. That day you tried to go swimming with your roommate, as soon as we walked outside it started raining, yeah, cold water for swimming is not fun. You're getting swole. There we go. There we go, Joe Dancing. <laughs> uh, is this puzzle this obvious? It's not. So what the hell is happening? Also, Joe Dancing, you said that you would be getting dinner. I, I want to know what you're getting for for dinner. You have been increasing on squats, squats, right? Squats by five every day. You are at fifty-five squats today. Damn! So you are doing leg day, right? People say that leg day is like the worst. You picked up shrimp tacos? You haven't eaten them yet? I don't like shrimp or any seafood, but I still need to try eating tacos. Yeah, leg day. What's going on in here? Oh, wait a second! I have a power! <gasps> it's a light puzzle! Oh my god, this is Zelda hype! I love this. I want to play Zelda again now, because it's been such a long time. Oh, I see, we need to... To use that, wait. There. Right? Yes! Give me more of those puzzles! I love this! Spirit Temple, I love you. you! You are always on my mind. Also, Earth Temple in Wind Waker. I love you too. No, I want more! No! Give me the... Give me the mirror shield, please! It's not the worst pilot. A uh, leg day is the best. When your leg wait, when your legs become spaghetti noodles and you can barely walk, that's when you know it was a solid workout. Totally Zelda hype. I oh my god, there are more puzzles, yes! Right? I love leg day, I'm resting now. I, I think I'm starting to doubt. <laughs> I'm starting to doubt the choices of people on my chat right now. 
What is this? Uh, Lloyd, this machine is amazing. Lloyd, can you see me? Wow, this machine is cool. Hey there, I can see you too. Lloyd, can you hear me? The door on this side opened. We are going on in as well. Let's meet. Oh, so it is really a split up dungeon. Let's meet up and regroup before we release the seal. Okay, gotcha. We are going to need to cooperate between the two teams to solve life puzzles. Victor, thank you so much for recommending me to play this game. I don't care if it's going to become trash later, although I don't think it will. But this is already worth everything. This dungeon here with the life puzzles. Much appreciated. Yes, we are going to... Okay, and now this door is open. This is great. This is like playing Zelda now. We are not even fighting enemies anymore. Uh, the only time lag day sucks is when it's shortly before or after a long hiking day. That's true. Because then you would be pushing yourself too hard. A uh, lag day is hated by people who don't really like working out. Because it, 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 you really feel it, right? It's one of those things that you really feel uh, after it's completed. Uh, it Wait, Sabri so saying this worked very well in Ultimisha's castle? Did we have light puzzles in there? Wait a second! Okay, I have something that doesn't make sense right now. I have something to say that doesn't make sense right now. The other party that separated from us, they had the bracelet that uses the firepower, right? Now tell me, why can Janice use it as well? Unless you are telling me that those bracelets, they are actually the Axisphere's bracelets? But no, right? They are the goddess bracelet that we got in the Church of Martel in the first dungeon. There should be only one. Why do we have multiples? If the party is divided, but both people can use the bracelet. That doesn't make sense. The squats are getting difficult. You were doing fine up until today. The bird's eye view is even so Zelda. The bird's eye view? Oh, I see this, this camera, right? Yeah. I was thinking on Final Fantasy VIII because Subaru made me think on Otomisha's castle. There were light puzzles in, in Ultimisha's castle? I can't remember. Even the sound effect, guys. Da -da 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 -da. Oh! Saburo is saying that in Ultimisha's castle, we divided the party too, so he's not talking about the light puzzles. I think the only other game that I can remember that's not Zelda that had light puzzles was Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. That's the only other one that I can remember right now. Oh! And maybe Portal, but I. I don't know if I would call some puzzles in Portal as light puzzles. They were not light puzzles, they were more like reflecting puzzles. But not with light, it was like with energy balls. They kind of follow the same idea or mechanic, but they are not the same thing. There's Colette, right there. By the way, this... 
um, this view and this room right now reminds me of Chrono Trigger. And one of the struggles I had in that game was that because of the perspective, camera, and the view of it, there were some very hard to see rooms that were below a second level. So this reminds me of Chrono Trigger and how hard it was for me to find such rooms. Somebody is saying that the last Tomb Raider also had a mirror or light puzzle. I still need to play some Tomb Raiders. Do you think I will like those games, Saburu? The thing that worries me the most about the Tomb, the Tomb Raider games is the action. I don't know if I like that... that action in that game. I know it has some puzzles and some platforming, I don't mind that. But the action, like fighting those zombies, monsters, bandits, animals... Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm usually not a big fan of... a big fan, right? I'm usually not a big fan of... Games that you need to use guns, but in an action way. But this may be a change. For example, this game has some action going on. And it's been good. Speaking about Lara Croft, I was talking to my friends before starting the stream and we were discussing about the latest Smash Brothers news and I was asking them, now that Banjo was released, which other characters could be more hyped than Banjo? And the only one that I could think on was Sora from Kingdom Hearts, but then my friends were giving me some other suggestions and I was um, thinking about them and then one of my friends thought that it would be amazing if Lara Croft could make to the to Smash Brothers. I would love to see Lara Croft making to it, not only because uh, she's, a, she's an icon of um, video games, but also because we are still missing a female character in this DLC bunch, right? So I hope there is going to be at least one, one female character. But the thing is that I don't think Lara Croft has ever been to Nintendo consoles, right? So that's why I was like, no, she may not get it, because I don't remember a game of Lara Croft for the Switch. Yes, Drew, this dungeon is amazing, man. I'm so happy that we are, we are having the mirror and light puzzles back, just like Zelda games. Don't forget the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Oh, dinosaurs from Tomb Raider. Uh, Subway is asking me, uh, wasn't there any game that I have played that had action? Maybe there were, but... I don't know, I don't like shooters in general. The only ones I remember having fun or enjoying a little bit while playing were GoldenEye 007, but only the multiplayer of it, not the... I, I think I have like a personal block with guns. Uh, if I need to play a game that has guns, I, I don't feel that excited about it. I don't know why, maybe because that game reminds me a lot of death or killing. And those are not things that I enjoy that much. Although I know that in RPGs, I know that in, in Mario, in platformers, you kind of destroy or kill other things or other people or other living beings. But I have the feeling it's more... Um, indirect? While if I'm playing a game that has guns, it's more serious, and I don't like that that, fe that feeling that it's serious. It's a personal block for sure. But Saburu, I will eventually play some other games that may have guns. For example, that game that you guys recommended me to play that has Vincent, right? I'm pretty sure that the game is going to be a shorter game with Vincent. I don't know if it was the Dirge of Saburus or the other one. But, uh, like, Crisis Core, but one of those two, right? Vincent from Final Fantasy VII. 
I'm not into shoot them ups unless I can be silly. Uh, people who get super competitive with shoot, shoot them up games frustrates you. Yeah, I want to play the Dirge of Subarus, uh, but I'm expecting it to be a shooter game. But I had a shooter game as well. Uh, I just re remember that by the time I used it to have uh, SNS, the only two games that I had were Super Mario World and the other one was a shooting game. But the only reason why I had that game it was because it was very cheap. Uh, there was a rental store in my city that sold that game to me for 10 reais. And 10 reais for a SNS cartridge in that time was extremely cheap. So I bought it even though it was a shooting game. And the game that I'm talking about is this very unknown game that I actually should bring it to the channel just because I have some story with it. But let me find it. Is it with N or M? Maybe it is with M and that's why I'm not finding it. Pretty sure this is a game nobody here will know it. No, it's, it's with M. But it's, it's a shooting game for the SNS. Yes, it is this one. I was not a big fan of it, but I played it. It's called Teen Star. It's also a western game that's not a thing that I like that much. But I'm hoping that by the time I play Wild Arms, I can feel better regarding playing Western based games. Maybe one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of Western games is because Western games they usually have guns because of the cowboys and stuff and the sheriff. I never realized that. Maybe that's why I don't like Western games because the characters will be using guns. I'm learning more about myself right now. But yes, eventually, hopefully, we can try. But it's it's a struggle to me. Okay, so oh my god, this is This is a much worse puzzle than before. They really increase the difficulty from like 1 to 10, right? Yeah, Bomberman, he does have bombs, but bom but Bomberman is cheerful looking. You gotta also think about the, the looks of the game. It's super cheerful, cute. So I, I was hypnotized by it. But for example, Tomb Raider, it tries to get in a reality approach. We were even talking about that yesterday. Uh, regarding how some old games that try to be realistic, how they today they feel that they aged so badly. Because today's realism is very different than old times realistic games, right? While cartoonish games could age better because cartoon cartoonish styles or art styles are, are something that won't age that badly. Like Wind Waker. Cheerful looking like Tales of Symphonia. Yoda got me right there. This is so cheerful, right? Such a beautiful game. You should let your kids play this. No. But it's a struggle, uh, this, uh, this is what I, I was trying to say, it's something that I need to change on myself But it's something that I never really liked that much With some few exceptions, like that game for the SNS There is actually another, okay, there is also another SNS game that was a western game and a shooter 
But maybe the reason why I played and I like this one is because it was so damn popular in Brazil, so basically everyone would play it uh, with friends or... Usually with friends, because it's also a very hard game. I'm talking about... How's it called? Sunset Riders. I'm guessing that Subaru, you know this game, right? Sunset Riders. This is a great game, by the way. But it's an exception. Yeah, Sunset Riders. It is on my list of games to play at some point. It is on the Riot games because it is a very hard game, so I may be using save states in order to beat this. But it, it is a very good game. It has a mix of platforming with shooting. Uh, Sabri is saying that by the name he's not remembering it, but he may have seen images or a video about it before. Yeah, there are some games that were super popular in here, but I don't think they were popular elsewhere. That one was one of them, everyone around my city or... Every friend of mine used it to like that game or play it. Then there is also Biker Mice from Mars, that's a racing game that's very good, has an amazing soundtrack. And it's also hard, so I could never beat it. There was also Top Gear. The racing game that we played on stream and we were able to beat the three games for the Super Nintendo. So there are those games that were very strong in Brazil or in my city. That I always wanted to play them until I could beat them because of this nostalgia. And some of them were not games that, I, that I'm using to play. So they are very good exceptions. Uh, let's see. What happens with this one? It is not like on a diagonal. second maybe um, yeah maybe I just need to use this one right here uh, this one yeah right there wait there oh okay and then I need to get the other one as well so it is this one right Oh, but, but there is a third one right here. I'm so glad this game gave us a break of the fights. I really appreciate that. Okay, we got two of them. The last one... Oh, wait! This one can get the light beam to two different sides, right? This one and that one. But how can I... Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. This is not going to work. Um... 
yeah, by doing something like this, but then I will still be missing one. It's something like this, but I'm still missing one. Second, I may need to do this, right? Yeah, there we go, and then we did it. Remember those Zelda wooden boxes? that are in Ocarina of Time, maybe because we have been thinking a lot about Zelda, I was thinking those things right there were boxes, but now I realize they are chests. Lunar Guard, Moon Robe, X-Gem Level 2, uh, Equip, I think I'll give the moon robe to to Shina. Oh, she can't have it. Hi Ritsuru, how's it going, man? How's your Sunday? We are in the Tower of Mana and solving some very good puzzles right now that are very like Zelda games. We also got something else, right? Oh, the card of earth is better than the water one? Let's go! I forgot what was the last item. It's right there, it's the Luna Guard. But we don't have anyone to equip it. Your Sunday has been wonderful. Can I catch you up on the story so far today? So let's see. Uh, first, last time, yesterday, we were trying to... Uh, to beat the dungeon of the human range. But then Shina, the ninja, thought that we were getting trapped and we, we were in a dangerous situation and then she decided to get us out of that human range but before that happened the leader of that human range Kivar he told us some very interesting news regarding Lloyd's family that it seems that our mother was killed by our father and the reason why that happened was because our mother became one of those monsters after getting the access sphere. So we learned a little bit more about Lloyd's past and then Shina kind of saved us, although we were good, we didn't need to be running away from them, I, I completely think that we could beat them, but then Shina did it and after realizing the truth that the human range was a thing that the designs were using in order to use people's lives to power the the access spheres that's the only way the access spheres they get powered by using people's lives after she learned that she decided to join us and now we have her in our party and then after that we returned to the human range we finished it we, we beat it we also were able to get to some new places, for example, we got to a new city called Rhyme. Actually, not Rhyme, uh, Hima. 
uh, called Hima, and I can't say a lot has happened in there because that city doesn't have a lot of a lot of things. But after destroying the human range, we could see a grasp of two other Grand Cardinals, uh, two other designs that were the Grand Cardinals. Their names were Rodio and Pronima, and it seems that they have some very evil plans regarding the research that Kivar was doing, and it was called the Project Angelos. So they are planning something, I believe, kinda in secrecy, or they are keeping some secrets from the others. But anyways, and then after destroying the human range, we could finally find the key to open the Tower of Mana that was locked yesterday, and this is the Tower of Mana, so this is the place that has the next seal. Yeah, I, I was actually thinking that nothing has happened today, but actually some things have happened today. Uh, especially in the very beginning, and not so long ago, uh, just after finishing the, the Human Rights plot. But it was like a long time only exploring, trying to learn what I should be doing, where I should be going. And then eventually we were able to get some, some plot development. But basically that's the plot, we are here now. Uh, we are also trying to find a cure. It seems that this place has the knowledge on how to cure the people that turns, that turns into monsters, like Clara for example. And actually we could see Clara again. Clara had the key of this place. But because she was getting pursued by some other villagers, she, she ran away, but she dropped the key, and then we were able to get to this place. Hopefully we can get the cure, and we can turn Clara back to normality, plus another, per another person that we also met today. So, we finished this, this puzzle. Also, this... this uh, this dungeon has been very interesting because they divided my party into two parts. You can see Colette up there. And I'm guessing we will need to cooperate in different areas to allow the other group to progress and then vice versa. So this is a very interesting dungeon. They even don't give me fights anymore, they are only giving me puzzles, which I kinda like. A stinger ring. Wait, it's not an accessory? <gasps> it's for Colette. It's a weapon. A chakram equipped with spikes instead of a blade. I think we need to change parties again, because we can't go anywhere... Oh wait, we can. What? Oh. Oh, okay. I, I was saying that we weren't getting fights. Now we are getting fights. Because the fights have only been happening on those Here stairs. Wait, I'm controlling Rain now? Let's go! But let me try using 
photon. To, to load. You kind of like Sheena in the group? She's great. Um, she does a lot of physical attacks and very direct attacks, just like Kratos. And she also can do something different than everybody else. But I still need to learn more about it. It seems that Sheena can summon. Yes, summon. Uh, she can summon the fox slash cat friend that she has. That's called Corinne. But the time that I tried to summon Corinne, I, I couldn't understand how Corinne helped us, if Corinne was able to help us at all. But she can also summon. And she's great, I think she's a very good character. Especially because You're she can be a very me. good Kratos re replacement. Because yeah. she, she goes for it. You see? Oh, let me try using Photon. Never mind. Oh, these enemies, they drop milk? Yeah, she's great. But I still need to understand how the summon mechanic works. How could it be useful to me? Wait, are we going to regroup now? Here in the world of hurt. I think we're going to regroup now. Man, this... This enemy is still alive? There we go. Oh my god, Subaru, don't do those jokes in here, man. But... It gotta be, right? The other enemies, they wouldn't provide us with milk. Um, we got a max sphere, and what was the other thing? Let me check my items. was the other thing oh this is this a bridge it is a bridge now let me try photon again We are not regrouping. Oh, wait, maybe we need to stand on some panels in here. There are weird machines here, too. Let's try standing on that round pedestal. Whoa, something appeared again. Can you hear me? We have made it to the inner area. 
Let's meet up before going any further. Come here. Okay. How can they get there? That answers my question. Uh, let me save though. Difficult to fight separated? We don't have time to delay, let's hurry! Yeah, the others don't have anyone with a sword, so they are probably having a difficult time. This is a- oh my god! This is kinda awesome! This was a very specific dialogue because the party members on the other group, they don't use swords. That's awesome! It's it's a very hard dialogue for you to see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Oh yes, I'm I'm not rain anymore. <laughs> I was trying to use photo. I kind of like to to play as rain, believe it or not. Probably they will have other ones as well, uh, depending on which party you, you pick. I think the reason why I liked playing as Rain was because Rain was fast. When I was playing as, um, as Kratos in the human range, he was slow like I was saying. He hits hard but he's slow. Rain with her, her rod, she's, she's fast. So I really like that. Uh, splitting up is nervous. I wonder if the others are okay. Splitting up like this kind of makes you nervous. Even if it's only temporary, it means we're splitting our strengths, so we have to be careful. Yeah, we need to try and rejoin the others as soon as we can. Right? Uh, those are the tiny things that developers include when they love what they're making, totally agreed. One of the things that I love the most about Mario RPG is that every time I watch a person playing it blind, that person shows me something that I never realized before or I could never find in the game before. Sometimes it is like a small dialogue or like a small detail of something. It is very good for you to have those discoveries uh, when you are playing or replaying a game. Extra lines are content that require specific circumstances to activate. I agree, this is awesome. It's good to see that they even thought on that here. Uh, try standing on that pedestal. If it is the same as the entrance, the next step should open. This was definitely one of my favorite places so far in the game. I was really happy to see the, the light puzzles. And also, before starting this place, I was saying that the last time I had a tower-based dungeon, which was in, in Xenogears, I had an amazing time. Thank you, Tales of Symphonia, for keeping that pattern still alive, because this place was really fun, really good, really surprising as well for me to play. But unfortunately, it's time to fight the boss. Let's see... If I'm going with this party, this is a very offensive party. Okay, I will give it a shot, but I will need to be the healer unless Kratos can help me out. Yeah, Kratos can help us out, right? But I need to pay a lot of attention so I can be the healer. Uh, but I will give Sheena an orange gel. So let's see who we are fighting now. And also, what's the seal of this place, right? I was thinking it was the lightning one. It 
it could be wind as well, but no, it's not wind, right? Wind was in the previous dungeon, so it's 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 electricity. Uh, Phil, man, I'm tired. That's because you are always overexcited in the beginning. It's mana, powerful mana is coming out. Please reorganize your party. Oh, we need to have Colette. to have Colette. Christy, right? Wait, yes, I think it is. Yeah, I wish I could go with Janice for this. But at least this guy doesn't have minions, and Janice is good to attack more than one target at the same time. As it is only him, I'm good, I think. Oh wait, why? Why the unison attack didn't work? The trial of the chosen needs the chosen, that's true. Thank you, Kratos. Kratos is being the healer, so I appreciate it. Don't overdo it. Also, Sheena can heal a little bit of HP by using her HP drain attack. Don't overdo it. Oh my God. Okay, now I'm out of TPs, but I'm going to use an orange gel. Wait, this horse has something on his mouth. It's like a crystal ball. Thank you, Kratos. But I will also heal myself. Actually, no, I'm healing Shina. Christy because of that beam of light. I don't have to beams. It's because beside Tempest requires 17 TP points or 17 TPs, right? It's not like Tempest. Tempest was only 8, I think. Time to heal, Shina. You okay? I do. He is light. That was totally a light attack. 
You remember during your first playthrough you had a tough time beating this? Okay. We start the right, but now that my party members are lacking on TPs, things may look bad. But we had a good start. Kratos, this is the time that I will be the healer now, man. Shina, go for it, Shina! Shina is doing a great job right now. Orange gel on Colette. Then orange gel on Kratos. Maybe now I can go back to attack. We did it! We did a great job, Shina nailed it. And then Kratos as well, Kratos with the healing in the beginning. And then I don't know Colette, did Colette do something important? I, I was not paying attention to what Colette was doing. This was not bad, guys. I used, yes, Saber is asking me, did you use the, the lenses on him? I used. I did. But for a second I thought I didn't. Yeah, GG. This was not bad. But he was a light boss? Why is this game giving me a light based dungeon plus a light based boss such in the beginning of it? Not really beginning, but usually light is something that only happens... Wait, was that the goddess? Could you guys see like a silhouette? Of a woman sitting on something that's, that looked like a moon? Uh, chosen of regeneration, you have done well in reaching this far. Now offer your prayers at the altar. Yes. <sighs> Who's excited to see now how Colette's health is going to get worse? Any suggestions, any picks on how she's going to get disease or to get sick actually? Oh goddess Marta, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength or basically take my life away from me. Where is Remyo, by, by the way? Yes, it was someone on a moon. Is this Marta? Or... Where is... Asuka? Yes. Without Asuka, I cannot do anything. I cannot form a... Wait, maybe this is the spirit or like the summon or something and then it wants to join us. But we can't because we don't have Asuka. I cannot do anything. I cannot form a pact or a vow. Oh wait, its name is Luna. That makes a lot of sense. That's why there is a moon in there, right? So we have Luna and Asuka. Please find Asuka in order to restore my power. Does that mean we need to return here? Yes, right? Remia was sleeping this time. <laughs> Remiel evolved to Luna. Oh, never mind. He woke up now. A 
Oh my god. Remio, are you happy to see your your daughter becoming a living dad? Your journey has been long. You have done well to reach the sparkle at the chosen one. Thank you, Lord Remiel. Let us grant you our blessing. Thank you. You have taken another step closer to becoming an angel, yet you seem anxious. Oh no, I'm very happy. Hmm? Now, Chosen One, your journey is finally drawing to a close. To a close? Already? It is time for you to rejoice. The path to the Tower of... What? The path to the Tower of Salvation is open? Head to the Tower of Salvation and offer your prayers of regeneration. Then you will be able to climb the stairway of heaven. The Tower of Salvation? The word regeneration is finally going to take place. Or not, because how is this already happening? No, I really doubt it. I shall do as you instruct, Lord Remio. It's time? <laughs> I shall await you at the final seal. There is another seal? Colette, my daughter. Uh, there you will become an angel like me. Wait a minute. Okay. We have an angel already. That's Remiel. And now he's saying, you will become an angel like me. Doesn't that prove... Wait, doesn't, doesn't that prove, right? Doesn't that prove that angels are useless to restore the world? Or to restore the world? Because he's just saying, you are going to be like me, but I can't restore the world. This is a trap. The end is finally in sight. Let's head to the Tower of Salvation. Colette, are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. She's going to trip. <laughs> okay. You know what's the best? The game gave us like a happy sound effect like this is great. Colette, learn sacrifice! Imagine, right Ritsuru? Just imagine. My goodness, this game. She's still going to pass out, right? We need to find someone called Asuka as well. But we have been everywhere. Like, I don't know any other place but the Tower of Salvation for us to go. I have a question, I will continue playing a little bit more, but do you guys think that if I head to the Tower of Salvation, will I be able to complete it tonight? Don't worry, leave it to me. I can go for there. Get out of here. Yeah. 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 Gotta know when to go. Yes? 
Okay, we, we can try seeing what happens in there tonight then. Don't get too comfortable. Maybe I think I will be able to do it. Unless you guys say it's very, very long. But so far the dungeons in this game they haven't been that long. Unless there is a crazy puzzle that's hard for me to to solve. Like what happened yesterday in the wind dungeon in the mausoleum. When do I hope to, to finish the stream tonight? I think I can still go for... I mean, I can go for much more than what I'm about to say. Not much more, but I could go longer than what I'm about to say. But... To me, the best situation would be finishing the stream in an hour and 40 minutes or maybe two hours from now. But I could go even after that. But... Um, I forgot the word, but the best case or the best scenario would be finishing in 1 hour and 40 minutes or 2 hours from now. So it's also not too late uh, in my place. But I'm really curious about this tower thing. And it seems that we only need to go there. And whatever is going to happen, it's going to be massive, right? Let's restore Don't the world. Worry. Leave it to me. About that though. I don't Stay think that's here. going to happen. No way. I don't know when to go. But I will I will go check that out. I, I do have time, I will go there. I, I'm I'm guessing I'll need to use the dragons. Because it's the only way I I suppose we can go there. Don't worry, leave it to me. There are some things that I would like to check in some places as well, but my my hope that they are going to be different is like very low. Don't worry, so it may not be it worth it doing it now. Mirage seal? Wait, Mirage seal? What's that? Decreases accuracy? That doesn't sound that he helpful. Um, Subro says it depends. Don't worry, leave it to me. Uh, he believes that this world will be restored, but at a cost. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I, I really have the feeling that we are going to destroy everything. I don't know. I, I have the feeling that Remiel it will be turned into a devil. And he's going to use our power to mess up things. And then we'll have a harder trouble to fix things again. It's going to be worse than how it is. So then we need to go around the entire continent again. To restore it for real by using our our own desires. Instead of trusting on Remiel. Or... The designs are going to do something That's about insane. their plans. It's Colette's angel toxicosis. Because the designs are also planning Let's something, right? Something regarding Project Angelus. Maybe the designs are going to act during the Tower of Salvation. Yeah, let's rest for sure. Wait, what's the problem now? She can't talk? What's wrong, Colette? I would assume she's lost her voice. Reset? Reset the game! Do they want me to keep playing this game without listening to Ray Trust? No. No. Reset. Reset the game. There is no fun in this game if we can't hear Ray Trust, Ray Satellite. Angel feathers! No. What? <sighs> mm. 
right, Subaru? It's going to be a bad thing for sure. Uh, Sabri is saying why angels can't speak? Remiel can speak. This game is ruined, let's just quit and play Final Fantasy IX. I will. <laughs> I want to explain to everyone why I was trying to assassinate the Chosen. Alright, we're listening. Tell us about your homeland. A land that doesn't exist in this world. What? A land that doesn't exist in this... Wait a second! You knew? No, but you said it yourself that Silverant will be saved. That must mean you aren't from Silverant. Yes, that was this talk uh, yesterday. That the restoration would not save her world, which was very weird. Yeah. You know, it's really a shame that your intellect's being wasted here. Where are you from? You're right. My homeland is not here. Not in Silveron. What does that mean? My world is called Tetheala. That freaking word that I couldn't pronounce correctly, so it's Tetheala. Tetheala? You mean the moon? <laughs> of course not. My world isn't on the moon. Underground? Even I really don't understand the specifics. But there's another world that lies entwined with Silveront. As shadow as to light. That's Tepeala. My world. Two entwined worlds. So it's not even underground. The two worlds lie directly adjacent to each other. They just can't see one another. How were you able to get here? Our scholars say they exist on shifted dimensions. Anyway, the two worlds can't see or touch each other, but they do in fact exist next to and affect each other. What do you mean, affect each other? I'm having so many Chrono Cross, Final Fantasy, Xeno Gears of feels right now, but especially Chrono Cross. They buy for the supply of mana. When one world weakens, the mana from that world flows to the other. What if the goddess that we were reading earlier today on one of the books that were saying that Mitas gave his life to give mana to the to this land, and then the goddess couldn't handle that very well, she was sad and then she disappeared? But she didn't die, she just disappeared. What if the goddess went to Tateala? And, and that's where the goddess is. As a result, one world is always flourishing, and the other waning. Sort of like an hourglass. Wait, so right now Silverond is... In the end, there is no happy ending. <laughs> there is no happy ending, because someone is going to be destroyed, someone is going to suffer. It's either our word or her word. That's it. No happy ending in this game. Yeah. Silveron's mana is flowing to Tetheala. Therefore, Silveron is in decline. Without mana, crops won't grow and magic becomes unusable. If there's no mana, the summon spirits that protect the world alongside the goddess Martel... Wait, but is Martel a goddess in both worlds? Can't survive in Silverond either. So she is. As a result, the world slips even further down the path of destruction. Then the Chosen's world regeneration is actually the process of reversing the mana flow? Exactly. When the Chosen breaks the seal, the mana flow reverses, and the summon spirit that governs the seal awakens. I was sent to prevent the world regeneration from happening. Yeah, because things were looking good in your place, right? I broke through the supposedly impassable dimensional fissure for How? the sake of protecting Tetheala. 
And you why would you do such a thing as well? And destruction of why would her travel between dimensions without sure that it's going to work? Without the sure that she would be able to return? And also, she came here alone, I'm guessing, so... She is that badass that she thought that she would be able to destroy the whole Silverant by herself? You can say that, but your journey of regeneration is also an attempt to destroy Tetheala. We're both doing the same thing. It's hard for me to believe all of this. Hey, Bellius, how is it going, man? I'm doing alright. Uh, some massive plots happening right now, man. But hopefully, you are doing great. On the proof, I possess summoning arts that have been lost from this world. Yes, about that, so far, that summoning art hasn't been helping me too much. Yeah, man, this game is... is getting like Chrono Cross uh, regarding the plot. Please don't look at me like that, Colette. I know that wasn't your intention. I don't know what I should do either. <laughs> Why is raining like that? I came here to protect Tetheala, but this world is impoverished and everyone is suffering. But if I allow the world regeneration to occur... You got three days in a row off? Nice, man. Good. Hopefully the weather was also uh, good weather. Then Tetheala will become just like this. But right now you're helping us, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I can just abandon Tetheala. I, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other way? A way for Silveron, Tetheala, and Colette to all be happy? Colette? Do you guys still believe that Colette has a good ending to this? I wanna know too! She just learned Sacrifice. How is that going to end well? I'm you not answering, but come on. Convenient exists in the, real world? the only way for us to have a happy ending to Colette is by reset resetting the game and leaving her doing the Ray Trust non-stop and that's it. What do I think about this game so far? Today in particular it got much better. Uh, not only because of this plot development that's been really surprising, but also because of the last dungeon we just did that I really liked it because it really made me feel like playing a Zelda dungeon that I haven't played in a while, right? I haven't played a Zelda game in a while. So this game has been... First of all, it's very different than anything that I was expecting it to be. But it's a very good game. There are problems, of course. For example, the side questing hasn't been that great. Many people told me that, oh, you're going to be forever playing Tales of Symphonia because it has so many side quests. Where? Because so far, honestly, I returned to places, I checked them out, and I found one, but I have no idea how to even start that. And that's it. And when I found like when I find like a secret or a small detail or a hidden thing, it's usually not worth it. For example, yesterday we were taking down a dungeon. It was the wind dungeon, and there is a there was a very tough puzzle in there that I had to write a big text. Hope you can see it. That text is only hints of that puzzle from yesterday and hints that were so crazy for me to crack and when I finally did it they gave me items that I already had so yes uh, when I do the side quest in here so far it hasn't been rewarding although people told me no it has so many side quests uh, you're going to be playing that forever well, maybe eventually they will come up with more side quests. But so far, I'm really disappointed with the side quests. Not only there aren't many, but also they are not rewarding. Just like Final Fantasy VIII. But I'm loving the action fighting now that I got used to play it on my keyboard. 
The characters have been great, uh, the plot has some twists and some very dark twists as well, which is insane. For such a cute looking game, for example. So th this game is very, very interesting and different than the other games that I was playing, although now this feels a lot like Chrono Cross. Uh, Subri saying he believes that Colette's going to have a happy ending. Don't you remember Ares? Oh wait, forget. There is that. And Oritsuru also believes, but maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys should be believing, because I honestly don't think she's going to, to be well. What could happen is that she's going to die, and then somehow we find a way to resurrect her. I can see that, but she can't avoid death now. Like, she's walking on the path to death and I can't see her avoiding it anymore she's going to die first thing we can do right now is to save Silveron from its current crisis yeah but then what about the Tatiala place who's going to save what if we Tatiala generate the world and just defeat the science because of Tatiala were you not listening to the to the story although we succeeded in destroying a wrench, we cannot possibly eliminate all the designs. And the mana will eventually be exhausted. Is mana really that important? Well, Mitas sacrificed himself to give us mana. I suppose only magic users and scholars worry about it. But that's a good point, mana actually. Mana is even more important to life than water. Why? Without it, the land will die. Why? Mana is the source material which composes everything. No, that's an atom. That's what I've been taught. You need a new, a new teacher. Unfortunately, the giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales doesn't exist in the real world. The giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales... It gotta exist. We live by chipping away at the limited amount of available mana. Why do you think the ancient Magi technology was lost? Magi technology. Because mana disappeared from the world. Correct. Magi technology consumes large amounts of mana. Okay, so they are saying that there was an, an ancient civilization and the mana was... Um, was not available anymore? So how do you explain this civilization right now, like, how do you explain that after the disaster on a civilization, how could humans still survive or create a new civilization? Or even how was Mana able to return to this world since you are saying that Mana was extinguished? Is it because of the hourglass thing? But come on. If things continue the way what they are now, they were not? Silveront will eventually lose its mana, just as it lost its Magi technology, and be destroyed. Okay, but what if the old and ancient people, or civilization, was not destroyed or ruined because of mana? What if it was something else? Uh, how has Janus been since the main character got arrested and rescued? Janis, now I would say he has been better, but also the main character has been better as well. Uh, yesterday there was a, a dialogue part that I was very surprised that Lloyd, the main character, was smarter than usual. He was freaking smarter, or very uh, smart, right? He was freaking smart in that part, that everyone was surprised by that. Um, he kind of tricked Colette to, and, and made her to tell the truth to him. So that was very incredible. It was a good uh, character development. But Janice has been alright. Uh, sometimes he does some child, um, child things. But he's great, like he's what? especially great in, in the fights. M. I. Remio? Ah, you're trying to spell something, right? I'll 
try asking Remiel if there's a way to save the two worlds. Don't you think that if there was a way, then Remiel would be working on it already? If it doesn't work out, I may have to kill you after all. And she says it while smiling. Sheena! When that time comes, I may fight back because I love. I don't know, Saburu. Saburu is so saying. Is she going to ask Remio two. by using which voice? I understand. You intend to become an angel no matter what, don't you? Yeah, because now it's too late for her to give up, right? Valius, earlier in this game I used it to have like Janice as one of my favorite characters. Now man, I don't know if I would still say that he's my favorite character or something like that. But I don't know who would be like my favorite characters now. Regarding the battles, Kratos has been awesome because he's super well balanced. But regarding personality, I really liked Lloyd's development yesterday. Colette has been getting a lot of development as well, but bad ones because she has been losing her life energy. Sheena is promising, uh, she seems to be a very good character. Rain... I don't like Rain that much regarding her per her personality. But I would, I would say Lloyd, Kratos and then maybe Janice. But I have high hopes on Sheena. You can try to stop me, then you will feel the ray thrust to the face. Just get everyone in one world to travel to the other world like Shina did. We would need like an arc, right? A, a, a big transportation device. And then kinda leave the, the desires in here. Uh, what did you miss in the past about our... We finished the dungeon. That one that had the light puzzles that looked like Zelda games. Then we learned a little bit more about what's going on in this game, especially regarding Sheena. Uh, do you want me to tell you a brief um, summary of it? I could uh, I could also read it because I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Did, did I... Wait, did your giant eared horse die? No! Oh my god! <laughs> Bellius! Bellius, what you're doing, man? No! <laughs> but thank you so much! <laughs> thank you so much for gifting us up to many people here. Sorry, Bookmark, Charlie, Yoda, Victor! Thank you so much, Bellius. You didn't need to do it, man. Yeah, thank you so much! Oh my god, Bellius with the gift subs, come, come on! He, he even sniped the filthy lurkers, but don't worry, I appreciate you guys are lurking. But he sniped the lurkers. <laughs> You're in for a world of hurt. Get out of here! Ah, ah, gotta know when to go! Oh my god. One second in the fight, we are poisoned. Uh, let me use the 
the panacea bottle. Now it's like 5 minutes of alerts with my computer. And hey bookmark, how's it going? Yeah, you, you guys were lurking, but don't mind it, it's totally fine, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. We need to go to the Tower of Salvation. Oh yes, good call, Subaru, yes, let's check Sacrifice. Attack enemies and... And heal all members in next... Oof. Should we see it? But the TP is insane! How many subs do I have at this point? I don't know. Um, I would say 20 maybe? Because not only we got 5 now, but also Thor subscribed earlier. And I was with 14, I think? I would say 20. Do you guys want me to, to test that out? I also don't think I have used the Holy Song before, right? Nice, well done, mate. Thank you, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure those subs right now, they won't uh, last uh, after another month, but that's fine. But I'm happy with the regular subs that we have here. So, do you guys want to uh, wa want to give your opinion about this? Should we check them out? Or should we, I don't know, avoid Colette from this painful life that she has? You give to me a sub and I had to pay it forward. Pilot is the is the Santa Claus in here. Uh, Pilot is a very um, he's a very great gifter, a sub gifter. Thank you so much, Valius. Subri saying you could test it and eat a next a next egg to a next egg. What Subri? to refill the the TP? It's up to me. Let's at least check the holy song. Don't get too comfortable. Wait, now we have like flowers? Sonic Thrust, double demon fan! Out of my sight! Can you guys see the, the flowers on their pictures? I was just warming up. Samuru, what? <laughs> Why are you talking about burgers right now, man? What do burgers have to do with refilling my TPs? Are you hungry, Samuru? I'm so confused because burgers are delicious I have to agree and I'm hungry but I, I couldn't make the connection she's alive that was just the holy song that was not the sacrifice do you want to see the sacrifice flowers are pretty strong I guess I believe the flowers they mean wait what do they mean increasing defense and offense I was thinking on something like accuracy, but no, it's defense and offense. I don't know. Saburu, I will use sacrifice. Let's check. <laughs> I want to save Colette, and then I say I, I will use sacrifice. Ah. 
I'm starting to wonder more and more about about what? Whether or not this world regeneration is really right or not. Was it that much of a shock that the Chosen lost her voice? Yes. You don't even... don't ever feel anything? The Chosen becomes an angel and regenerates the world. Her current condition is a test. Remio said that as well. Then why, if they are both angels, are they so different from each other? Yes, I was asking that earlier! One would assume that it's because she's not yet completely an angel. If she becomes a complete angel, will she return to normal? No, she won't. No, 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 she's not returning to normal. I, at least I don't think. Taking out your frustrations on me won't help anything. Well then, would you have her... I couldn't read it. And sacrifice all life in Silverant? I know, I know, we can't do that. This is why I was saying, Bellius, that Lloyd has been becoming a better character. He's starting to make the questions that I was making as well. Uh, somebody's saying... Oh... Oh my god, Subaru! Now I feel bad that I couldn't understand your point in there. Subaru is saying that I can cook. And then I can cook a sandwich. So why wouldn't I be able to cook like a burger to restore my, my TPs? We need to find the... The Wonder Chef more times though. Especially now that we know there is a whole backstory to him after reading that book. Yeah, Subaru! Subaru is... Subaru is ahead of my thinking. Are you... are you tired, Janice? What's up, Colette? Uh, pff, Colette won't say a word, right? Uh, last night I spent a long time thinking and uh, I didn't sleep much. I feel that? I feel that so hard. Oh, okay, then let's go ahead and take a break soon. Thanks, Colette. I mean, Colette didn't say it, right? But he was thanking her for that. Okay, so we need to go to the Tower of Salvation. I think that my best lead to get there is if I return to the Mountain City, to Hima. But I could also try checking since I'm already here. This is gonna be a piece of cake! Oh, wait. We are going to test sacrifice. Wait, why do I have to... Why do I have to pick a target? Am I sacrificing a party member? It's not her? to really see if it was extremely useful or not because that attack says that it will cause damage on the enemies which I didn't see to be honest like if it caused damage it was nothing and then it also heals my party but my party already had a lot of health so if it healed us I couldn't also see it but then I was thinking she died but hey, life bottle, right? So it has a news for sure.
Although I couldn't see those two things in action, uh, if we were able to cause a lot of damage, which I think we, we would, uh, we, we weren't, right? Uh, I think we weren't able to cause a lot of damage. And if, to, if it was a good healing, because our health was already good. But maybe it is useful. And then we only need to use a life bottle. Because she won't be dead forever, right? So probably nothing has changed in here and it's fine. But just because I was passing by, I wanted to check. Uh, th th they want you to use it in extreme situations. I would see that, especially if I'm not allowed to use the life bottle after she she sacrifices. Because otherwise, I would be able to use her her attack in more than extreme extreme situations, right? Because it's not hard for me to resurrect her. Wait, why is the old man not here? Hi! The range was destroyed but the city will never recover? I should be leaving as well, there is no point in staying here. What about the old man? Maybe he's- wait, maybe he's back to... Oh my god, I should have checked it. Maybe he's back to the... to the Tower of Mana, because he was... I think he was an important person to that place. Yeah, it could be useful. I don't know how useful, but if I can resurre resurrect her again, it's very good. And I think I will be able to do it. They they are not telling me anything about once she's dead you can't. Wait, um uh, I'm sorry about this backtrack, but I want to find the old man now. And maybe he was in the Tower of, of Mana. She is here, right? So now I'm pretty sure that eventually we'll be getting to... to Tatiala because we have explored Silverant entirely and everyone is saying no, the game is still not over, so... We are definitely going to visit Tatiala. The old man is not in here? So I will write down that the old man is missing. Probably I will never find him again, but... I had to notice that. Old man from Lewin. Where is he now? Oh my god, Subaru. Subaru, good call. Yeah, there is a book that I couldn't read. We can examine it now. It's the book. <gasps> It's the cure! I forgot that this place had the cure! Oh my god, Subaru, good call, man. Side quests, the bookshelf, complete.
Man, I totally forgot about the the cure that was supposedly somewhere in here. Maybe the cure could have been the the spirit, the summon, the creature. I don't know how to call that. Maybe that summon uh, would be responsible to cure the the monsters, right? The, the humans that were turned into monsters. But no, it was a book. It was boat, Boatsman book. Now we can save Pietro and hopefully Clara. But no, it will be difficult for me to use this book with my healing arts. If we at least had some sort of tool to amplify the body's life force. Like what? And then this side quest connects with the unicorn. If we had an unicorn horn, what if the old man is there in the lake? I don't think we'll be killing the unicorn. But <laughs> he will stop being an unicorn because we are going to remove his horn. He's going to be zero corn. Yeah, a zero corn. Lake Yumesi then, yes. Let's go back there and see if there is something we can do. I'm pretty sure the unicorn was expecting some better rescuers than us. But hey, we are all you have gotten, right? Unfortunately, rescuing the unicorn will demand a high price. Imagine if they give me the freedom. Do you really want to remove his horn or not? And then like we have consequences of those those choices. I need to go south. How can I go south? There, right? Or no? Yes, but in this direction. This is going to be a piece of cake. Maybe with this whole unicorn thing I won't be able to finish the Tower of Salvation. Unless it is a very quick thing. The lake was up there, right? No, 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 that's, that's actually not the lake. The lake was there. I don't know what's happening, so I'm going to save. Wow, so there are still unicorns left on this side. I wonder if we can make contact with it. The unicorn horn? Yeah, at least one side quest is progressing. Yes, in order to use Master's Boatsman's healing technique, we need, to, we need the unicorn horn. But how can we get over there? Can we just swim to it? Uh, you won't be able to hold your breath that long. Damn it, isn't there anything we can do? Maybe you can, I don't know, drain the water? There is a way. 
What? Wait. Flashbacks from Undertale? Someone? We could summon Undyne. That's interesting because Undyne in Undertale kind of looks like a fish. Who exists somewhere in this world to control the waters, man. man. So Undyne is a summon of water. Wait, but shouldn't Undyne be in the water dungeon then? Because we freed a spirit in there, isn't it Undyne? You mean the summon spirit? We don't have anyone who can summon the summon spirits, but her. I... I haven't formed the pact yet, but if I can form the pact then I can summon. Now that you mention it, you did say you could use summoning techniques. Are you a summoner? I'm a guardian user, but I can summon too. I had heard that that art of summoning was lost a very long time ago. It still exists. Anyway, if you're not interested, I'm not going to force you. No, we need the unicorn horn. Please do it, Shina. Alright, then let's go to the seal of water. I was right. Undi Undyne. Undyne should be at the seal. The Toda guys are right. Oh my god, here we go again to the Toda Island. This is quite a detour. Yes. Lloyd's bad habit. A summon spirit? Hmm, I wonder how the pact works. I can't wait to see it. I wonder how it... How is it useful to us? Because the one she can do right now is not useful. It's fine that you are interested. But the problem is the way you get bored with everything. Shut up! Stop ganging up on me! Stop telling us to shut up! We are talking about your attitude. Shut up all of you! Damn! Everyone... Everyone respects Rain. Because if not, you get hurt. So Undyne usually is like a spirit name related to water in games. I can only remember that name in, in Undertale. So let's remember, to get to Toda... Oh my god, it is a really backtrack. Uh, we need to go down there. What if we get there and Shina is not the person that's able to form a pact? Oh, but Saburo be careful to not spoil me about Golden Sun, man. Uh, the Pursuit of Strength. Kratos, what? Have I grown stronger? Your sword skills have certainly improved, however... However... You have realized that, al that that alone is not enough, have you not? That's why you felt compelled to ask. What strength you seek? What path you seek? No one but you, no one but you know the answers. Yes, I guess you are right. However, there undoubtedly still remain even more fighting techniques that you do not know. Continue to fight alongside your comrades, or your comrades, and defeat your enemies, you may find your answers along them, or with them. Alright, I will trust that one day I will find those answers, and in the meantime, I can't read. <laughs> oh wait, we got more things? I really wish there was a way for me to slow down those dialogues, because I can't! They are so fast! 
And if I struggle a little bit in English, I will totally lose it. And by the way, I am getting hungry. And it's not surprising because I was saying earlier that I didn't feel like eating very well this weekend. Like healthy food and stuff. So I'm starting to consider not going to the tower tonight. Because if I go there, I may finish the stream kinda late. But I want to keep going with this side quest. Wait, we should read those two things as well. A linking special attacks. It is possible to link a level 1 special attack to a level 2 or level 3 special attack. Thus, it is possible to create even more powerful and varied combinations of attacks. The effect of attributes 1, the higher the strength, the higher the damage done. Some spells and special skills are elemental in nature. Elemental attributes can either be a troublesome weakness or a formidable ally in battle. If a character takes over a, certer, a certain amount of damage, that character takes on the over limit status. Oh, by the way, I have more to read than I was not seeing it. Oh, never mind, I don't. I was seeing the arrow pointing down right there, but it's pointing down to these other things, right? Maybe not, actually. I don't know how to go down though. I don't I don't get it. Yeah, I have the feeling they have more to tell me about the over limit. Anyways, uh, damage taken can be decreased by guarding, but if a character keeps guarding for a prolonged period, the guard may be broken by the enemy's attack. Uh, battles, are ass battles are assessed by a grade. The grade does not affect the story in any way. It is simply a measure of the, tacti of the ta tactics used in battle. If an enemy is defeated in battle with, sty if with style, a technical smash is awarded. When the unison attack gauge is at max, you can start an unison attack at any time. When Sheena is in over limit mode, she can summon spirits with whom she has a contract. However, by summoning, she immediately loses her over limit, so be cautious. That's very good. Although we need to get a good summon. Let's get out of here. I don't know where to go. Uh, is it alright if I save the tower for next weekend? saying it's been a long time since I last was worried about a game getting slow on my PC this game sometimes gets slow on my PC but it I have been able to maybe 
give some rest to my computer before it starts the stream and I'm guessing that's what's hap that's what's helping my computer to handle this game better because I turn it off some hours before the stream and then I only turn it on when I'm about to stream so I'm guessing that's been helping it to run this game better but I don't know if it's going to work every time But I'm really glad that this game hasn't been having big problems anymore. Especially because the fighting is action, so the less delay we have, the better, right? I can already assume that we will need to return to every single dungeon so we can get those summon spirits. But I believe they all will have a particular moment for you to do that. It's kind of funny that they are at first telling me to return to this one instead of returning to the fire one. I want me to solve the puzzle again, right? I'm hoping the path is already open. Yes, it is open. Hello, summon spirit of water. Shina, please do that pack thing. Okay, I will do my best, although I'm a little scared. Interesting. Uh, huh. Well, can't you just get her to cancel the old pact? How? We don't even have any idea where this mythos person is. A summit spirit pact requires a battle. 
As long as the pact maker upholds that vow, that remains valid. That is correct. I know about that. Summon spirit approves the pact maker's vow and agrees to the pact. Exactly. Therefore, all you need to do is follow Lloyd's advice and request the annulment of the previous pact. For the new one, it's possible the previous pact maker has broken his vow. Or he may have already passed away. Is it really that simple? I suppose you could call it simple. But if the previous pact maker is still alive and hasn't broken his vow, then there's nothing we can do. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Undini, I am Sheena. I ask that thou announce thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact with me. Before I can allow the formation of a new pact, I must test your worthiness as a pact maker. Draw your weapons. I'm getting some Diablos from Final Fantasy VIII flashbacks now. I shall judge your work. Okay, first of all, Match Clans. Ready? She doesn't Ready. have weaknesses. Holy no, 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 wait, Colette, uh, I don't want you to be using sacrifice or that, holy song is good, don't get me wrong, but I think I would prefer her using other things. Uh, focus on angel feathers. But that's interesting, she's still able to use those magic attacks even though she's silent. Sounds like Undertale. over limit. Don't overdo it. You okay? First day. Ready? Spread. Don't overdo it. Ready? First day. Spread. 
uh, this is easy because she's not attacking everyone at the same time. There we go. Impressed. I'm not. <laughs> I was expecting a harder time. A guardian symbol? Splendid. Now swear your vow. Upon what vow do you form our pact? Okay, but I have a question. The conditions were that the previous pact person would be dead right now, right? He would need to be dead. Where is the confirmation? Like, is Undyne not going to confirm it? Right now, at this very moment, there are people who are suffering. I vow to save those people. Yes, but where, where are they, or when are they going to confirm that? She's basically, okay, you could defeat me, so I'm going to help you out, but come on. What about the whole talk about person needs to be dead or the person needs to break the vow? I don't see nobody checking it out. Understood. Right? She forgot to verify it. This game has some very bad continuation parts. It's like every time I'm playing this, there is something odd about the continuation and the logic. When we were in the, in the light dungeon, my two parties, they had the same item that was unique. Which also doesn't make sense. And now this. Shina, you did it. Wow, congratulations. Thanks, Colette. Now we can finally meet the unicorn. And maybe we can get Colette healed too? Can we? Kratos, you have an impressive array of knowledge. I had an acquaintance who knew a bit about summon spirits, that's all. I see. And we acquired Aquamarine. Shina learned the summon seal water. Shina learned summon water. I'm going to check those things out. Summoner Shina. Man, you rule, Shina. What are you talking about? Summon spirits? What else? What was it again? You know, all that dough and die stuff? Oh yeah, that's so cool, making packs with summon spirits. This is so Persona, by the way. Really? Say, what does it feel like? Um, it feels like a great power separate from myself come surging out of wait come surging out from inside my body I don't really understand, but it's so cool. I wish I was a summoner Although I hated being a summoner Really? Yeah, is this a pattern about games that you have to summon creatures or These? Because in Persona, you also need to form a pact, and they say the classic quote of I am thou, thou art I. And in here, she was also using the, uh, those words 
in the in the past. Maybe there is some lore behind that. I always thought it was just a persona thing. But now that I saw it in here as well, it, it makes me think that there is more to it. It's not only a coincidence. You're in for a world of hurt. Actually, adds water attribute to a party man. Oh my god! That's so good! It's a very specific use, but it's a good one. computer is working a little bit right now, but it may return to, to normal. A uh, summoner ninja is also something that you usually don't see in games. The thing about her is that she uses her seals and those pieces of paper, and I understand those things being related to summoning spirits or summoning creatures. One reference that I can think right now is from Cardcaptor Sakura, for example. There is a character in there that's Shoran. And he also summons forces and spirits by using those seals. So I can see the connection. But I understand what you're saying that it's something that you don't see every time. Because usually the ninjas, they, they don't have such spiritual powers, right? They only have the ninja techniques and the ninja, ninja illusions. But there are some situations that they can have such powers. Especially when it's related to those seals. Yeah, ninjas know how to use those seals, but it's not often that you see one summoning because usually the summoner is a mage. That's that's right. Like, why is it not Colette, Rain, Janice? This game is really doing it differently. I I, I can see the logic of Shina being the one, but. It is like a different logic than, not different logic, but it's a, a different choice by the game's developers than usual. Now let's return to the lake. I think I will cook an omelette for dinner. It's easy and it's going to, to help me to feel to feel full. And I also have some ham and cheese and then I add some oregano and then it's it's perfect. 
how many eggs I usually use only two eggs but maybe I could try using more I normally use two eggs I even have a um, I can show that to you, but I, but I don't know if it is... It is clean! Yes, I have washed it. Let me get it. omelette frying pan that you like close it and then you can flip it yeah it's just for you to cook omelettes or even other things like pancakes maybe are expensive in here we do have two different eggs you have the regular eggs that are white ones and you have the I don't know how they are called in English though but you have some more brownish eggs that in here we call them as country eggs because they come from farms and um, yeah usually farms are small cities and small farms and then we call them as country eggs but I'm making a, tr a direct translation from Portuguese so free range I don't know but do you know the can you see the color of the path on the game right now those eggs are from that color and those eggs, they have more nutrients or more vitamins. And those are more expensive than the regular white eggs because of that. But I don't think that eggs are that expensive in here. Brown eggs? Yeah. I would say they are more like beige. But I know they are more nutritious. Hey Scapuni, how's it going, man? Uh, how are you doing? Also, Scapuni, I don't know if we were talking about E3 news. I don't think we were. Uh, how excited were you about the last E3 news, like the ones in the Nintendo Direct? I, although I have read one of your tweets. And it seems that you were crazy hyped for Secret of Mana, right? Uh, the Secret of Mana remake. Did you get the, the collection already? Are you playing the, the originals? I was talking about that collection and the remake with Noble Warrior because he's also a big fan. I do want to try playing those games as well because after what I have seen on the Direct, it looks very interesting and also because of what everyone says. I should really consider playing them. So the, the eggs that I was talking about, actually this picture is perfect. Uh, wait, where is the picture? I, I, I had it. Okay, this one. Uh, this picture is perfect because it has the two eggs that I was talking about. Oh, you guys call them as country eggs as well? They are about the same price. So if you can pick, 
I recommend you going for the for the country eggs because I believe they are more nutritious than the white ones. Uh, coming down. Wait, you are recovering from being pissed off because there is a big metal square. You wanted to put your laptop beyond a shelf. You are going to stop by the tool store tomorrow and get a new wood to make another shelf. Wait, what, man? But I'm so sorry to hear you're having some problems with um, your room, right? But you can't wait to play Trials of Mana, it's looking really great. You fell asleep, Victor? That's okay, man. Welcome back. How much you have missed? We are doing a side quest. We actually uh, cancelled the plans of going to the Tower of Salvation. Because we finally could progress in one of the side quests. And the side quests... Wait, the side quest that I was progressing on is the one related to the Summon Spirit of Water. So we met Undyne, and now I believe we are trying to get the Unicorn Horn from the Unicorn that's trapped in the lake. It's where you got your Booty Shake Bits alert? Watching a video about Afro-Brazilian food right now? Can you give me the names? Uh, give me the names, Bellius. I mean, if you... If it is written in there somewhere. And then I can probably tell you more about those dishes. But it's Cap. Banjo Kazooie in Smash. And then Breath of the Wild 2. That's all. How was the Undyne fight? It was easy. Yes, it was easy. Because she was not hurting all my party members at the same time. Uh, she was only hitting one of them at a time. So it was easy for me to heal this them, be a to keep attacking cake. her. It was no problem at all. Where is the lake again? Oh, it's there. I haven't saved before entering here, but I'm hoping that we are going to be alright. Yes, uh, it's still not Gino, but I can't complain about Banjo. Can't complain at all. I we will not ask for Gino anymore because we have Banjo and Joker. Actually, Scap, I don't know if you have been following the last Pokemon news, but on E3 we we heard about some things that the next Pokemon game is going to to have, or maybe I should say to not have. And those news they really got me disappointed about the next Pokemon game, so I kinda lost a lot of my hype for it, but then with the Banjo announcement, my hype for Smash Brothers Ultimate returned, it came back to life. So today I can say that I'm more hyped to, to Smash Brothers than, than Pokemon. Oh yes, Pirão, <laughs> Pirão and Feijoada. Um, Pirão is a... Uh, Oh my god, I, I don't want to, to, to like give, give you the wrong information about Brazilian food, but if I remember it right, because I usually don't eat pirão, pirão is a dish made of beans, right? Pretty sure it's that one. Saburo, help me out here, please. I usually don't eat that. But I'm pretty sure it is the, the bean dish that you kind of mash the beans to make it. Maybe it's not actually. Oh, it may not be. So what's the, the one with the beans?
What's the dish that I'm thinking right now? It's a side dish to go with fish? Yeah, I, I, I was in doubt between if it was either made with beans or fish. But I could swear there was a, a bean part to it. I'm the cook, not you, Saburo, come on! Don't you eat pirão? I, I don't eat pirão. But I, I, I'm like the... The picky person, so basically, don't be surprised that I don't eat some things. It's porridge made from rice flour or farinha, yeah. But if this is not pirão, what's the... Let me try to find the name of the dish that I'm thinking, that's made with beans. <gasps> Wait, uh... Oh my god. Bayon? No, it's not Bayon. Bayon is black beans with rice, which is also very good. Yeah, uh, feijoada is made with black beans, that's right. And it's delicious. <gasps> tutu! There it is, it is Tutu! I, I, I was thinking on Tutu de feijão, or beans Tutu. For some reason, I, I I was thinking that was pirão, but no, it's tutu. Yeah, it is this dish that you have a very creamy paste made of beans. I do like beans. But not when they are in that texture, like a cream. You basically mash the beans and then you get that creamy uh, dish. I prefer the beans when they are normal, uh, without being mashed. It's almost like a mashed potato, but it's like mashed beans instead. I, I prefer the, the beans when they are normal. Yeah, I do love beans a lot. Someone teleport me to Brazil now? But maybe you can find Brazilian restaurants, Bellius. I'm pretty sure you can find Brazilian restaurants around you. You can may even find some products, some ingredients. You will, you will only need to find a recipe, which is not hard for you to find on the internet. But definitely go to a Brazilian restaurant. They will prepare those dishes to you and you'll be able to, to try them. And then after tasting them, you can buy the ingredients and try to get the same taste after you know how they taste like. Pretty sure you can find restaurants in there then. Okay, go on, China. Ask and dine to take us over there. Wait, that's not going to work. Why not? The unicorn can only be approached by a pure maiden. Colette? At the very least, Lloyd Genius and I are out. S 
so only females can go. So then it's just rain and I will pass. But I don't want. Wait, I don't know what we are going to do. We can't send Colette alone while she's like this. Sheena? Hey, are you saying that I'm not qualified? Qualified? You don't have to both say it at once. Then we shall send Colette and Sheena. Why can't the professor go? I have the feeling the professor doesn't want to go because she's, she's kinda scared of water. She was struggling with the same thing in that trip to... to Tolda. Okay then, I'm going to summon now. I call you upon the Maiden of the Mist, I summon thee. Come undine. The professor is a closet? Oh wait, closet, right? A closet per That's as well, uh, that as well, because she loves to wear costumes, right? No pure maiden there. Uh, take take us to the unicorn. As you wish, to the lake. Marto, you mean the goddess, Marto? No, you are Colette, and the one beside you is called Sheena? You can hear Colette's voice? Yes, but you are not Marto, this presence, this manner, and this sickness. Even in my blindness, it is clear you are Marto. I exist to save the awakened Marta from her sickness, to cure the sickness you have. Then please save Colette. The horn of a unicorn has that kind of power, right? Is this seriously? Or is this serious because... This is being more important than how it should be. For example, this is supposedly a side quest, but if they can really heal Colette, this should be regarding the plot, right? You are here not for yourself, but to save a human with whom you have made a promise? Maybe she's going to refuse it. Yes, I also thought this was a side quest. Maybe it, it, it will still be a side quest because I believe she won't accept the unicorn's help. So that's it, you are the chosen of regeneration. Take it. Never mind. Take the horn, okay. But she's not using it on herself, right? What's wrong? Our horns are our very lives! My destiny is now fulfilled! this, of course, Colette's not using the unicorn horn on herself. Do not be troubled, a new life will be born from me. And when that new life ends, yet another one will be born. In so doing, we will live on forever. No! 
Sheena, are you, are you crying? The unicorn gave us his horn. Optional good ending? Not for the unicorn. I see, then the unicorn is dead. Man, it sucks to be a unicorn, right? You are you get stuck under a lake for I don't know how long and then when finally there are people trying to save you, they kill you. You knew when a unic they knew The second time tonight that I lose my hopes on my party members. When a unicorn loses its horn, it dies. I don't care. I want to see it. It's dying because it's gonna die, right? By dying, a new unicorn is born. Isn't it beautiful? That's why the unicorn is the symbol of death and rebirth. Oh, nice. He's not a phoenix! I'm sure one has been. The unicorn gave us this horn at... <laughs> I, I hate this logic in this game, like... I died, so now please carry on with my life's energy. Because now I'm in your exosphere, because now I'm the unicorn's horn. We should have sent the perfect professor instead, then we would still have our pony, probably, because I believe she's afraid of water. By dying, a new unicorn is born. That's a phoenix! It's the wrong creature! That's wrong, rude, and dumb! I don't trust my party members anymore, seriously. They are hiding information from us. They are not... They, they are... Oh my god. <laughs> my party members are more soulless than Colette right now. Don't you think that they, they, they know what's going to happen and they let it happen? For their selfish reasons. They are worse than Colette. That's losing... Her senses and her feelings that's becoming like a living dad, they are worse than Colette. Colette at least has a reason why she's becoming that. They don't. They choose to be that. That's worse. Dead tasty baby unicorn? Oh my god, Scab, come on. It must taste like a pink Starbucks frappe. I wouldn't. I wouldn't negate a uh, pink Starbucks for pay. That sounds good. That's what Subaru would be uh, wanted to say. That it was mixed up with Phoenix, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was not intentional. I swear to God, that was not intentional. <laughs> I, I hope those that got the reference got the reference. But I swear that was not intentional, but I love it. Uh, every time you talk about Colette, I feel personally attacked. Oh, yes. I I I'm sorry about that as well, Jodensky. Jodensky was saying that her middle name is Colette. Oh my god, after this Phoenix Wright reference, I I'm done. Uh, the unicorn gave us this horn at the cost of his life. We must make good use of it. Yeah, Colette! Go, Joe Dancing! Now we might be able to get you back to normal. Joe Dancing, you don't need to change if you don't want. <laughs> be yourself. Get swallowed. Though. Yes, I, I was sure Colette would negate the offer. Why? Don't blame me. My goal in life is to 
is to one day eat unicorn meat because American. Okay, I won't change. I still haven't finished regenerating the world. So please use this. Yeah, that, that's true. We have two people to save. Who are we going to pick? We need to get those two people into one choice. But Colette. Alright, if that's what you want. We have... That's why Rainy was so selfish right now because she was the one getting the benefits. Now I know regeneration. Now I know this title, or now I have this title of Master of Healing. That's why she was so greedy and so evil. Because she had selfish intentions. You'd like to find the baby unicorn and protect it? Let's hope that it's a thing in the game. And they were not... What if this is just a lie? What if they are tricking us to make us believe that the unicorn is going to be reborn? But by saying that we would feel better about what we have just done? But no, in the end it's like, I got you all, I was talking about the phoenix! And then rip. They may be tricking us. Lloyd was tricking Colette yesterday and he did it like a professional. Professional trickery that happened yesterday. Not once, but twice. And I was like, he got him. He got him, he got me, he got everybody. Notes, where can I find a baby unicorn? But I don't know, Scat, but I'm pretty sure you can find a baby shark to do 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 on the YouTube. If you can feel pleased enough for a baby shark to do 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 do, you go to the YouTube. I told you before on stream, uh, I told people here before that if I read the word baby or shark, it's automatic. So, yes. Once Joe Dancing finds it, finds it at least. Seems good, Rain. It was said so offhandedly. It is silly. Sorry, Joe Dancing. Uh, Sobri saying, by the way, Sheena was very surprised that there was still an unicorn in this world. What happened to the ones in the other world that may not have been reborn? When she said that, Saburu, I got the idea that she meant that in her world, the unicorns were still a thing. And she was kind of surprised that unicorns were still in, in our world, but I, I, I had the idea for some reason that they still had unicorns in her world. But maybe you're right, maybe they are rare in both places. Uh, it seems I have acquired some new healing arts thanks to this horn. Now you can save Clara and also you can save us in battle, right? Yes, with this unicorn, uh, with this unicorn horn and Boatsman's book, I'm sure we can save her this time. Where is this Clara person? Last time she was in Haima or Hima, but I don't know where she is now. We will have to keep looking for her. Uh, the only thing we can do is to analyze her previous actions and search for her. Yeah. Wait just a little longer, Colette. I promise we will fulfill your wish. But again, this doesn't make sense. If we are if we are able to both help Clara and Pietro, why can't we help Colette as well in the process? Like Rain can use that ability in fight as well, so it doesn't make sense.
and she's going to learn nurse? Whoa, that's awesome! Heal all party members? It's this game... It is this game's logic messing with my logic again. I don't get it. But they really want to see Colette dying, right? So, before I finish the stream, I do want to go back to, to Hima. Because I don't know where Clara is located, but I know where Pietro is located. So we can at least try to heal him. So let's return. Uh, Sabri is saying maybe he's wrong. It could be what I understood. I'm not sure, man, but I, I, I thought that... And... How is it called again? In Tefiala, unicorns were still a thing. The goddesses get sick. Martha's a goddess, right? That's what they call her. The goddess get sick too? Maybe not, because Colette is soulless? She can't feel a thing? If you think about how Colette can become an angel, humans and angels can't be all that different. No, they, she's completely different now. And angels serve Marto. Hmm, I guess. I still think it sounds kind of strange for a goddess to catch a cold. Well, that's true. I don't think Colette can get sick. Not after the last things that happened to her. Uh, unicorns won't be a thing once I have... I have had my fill of them. Amaltia is mine? Who's Amaltia? This oh yes, by the way, Scab. Um, still speaking about E3 news? And because you were like the only person that I knew that has some connection to this franchise? I want to ask you... Were you freaking excited for Fantasy Star Online being announced? Because like, I was not hyped for it because I don't know almost anything about the franchise. But then I was checking people talking about it and a lot of people were like freaking out. Because it seems that Fantasy Star Online 2 was like a, an old promise that's been like People waiting for it for 10 years, or maybe not 10, maybe I'm exaggerating, but maybe, I don't know, 8 or 7 years? And it was only in Japan. And then it's finally, like, happening. It's coming to the other countries. When everyone lost their hopes. So I was thinking, no, maybe Scap is excited about this, because he was playing one Fantasy Star game. Wait! <laughs> You didn't know those news, Scap? Fantasy Star Online 2 is going to be on Xbox for free to play after 7, 8 years that people were hoping to get that game. So, yes, it's going to be on Xbox um, with all the content, with all the bosses, with everything. You didn't watch the Xbox conference? Wait, but you did heard uh, you did hear about Keanu Reeves at least, right? Please tell me you didn't miss the Keanu Reeves news, which were, by the way, some of the best news of E3. Don't get too comfortable. Yes, Fantasy Star Online show is coming to Xbox with all the content. Joe Dancing, you don't know about Keanu Re Keanu Reeves on E3? His cat knows it. He said I'm breathtaking. Joe Dancing? I was just warming up. Joe Dancing, have you heard about that new game that's been kinda hyped for many people? That is Cyberpunk 2077 or 2077? So in the last E3 or in this E3 actually, in the last Xbox conference, they gave us news 
about that game, they gave us a new trailer and everything. And Keanu Reeves is in the game. Not only as like a voice actor, but there is a character that looks exactly like him. And everyone was like, oh my god, it's Keanu Reeves! Keanu Reeves is in that game. He looks amazing uh, in the game. And then after that announcement, he went to the stage to talk about the game and to, to the fans. And it was such an amazing moment. Uh, it was one of the best parts of DC3 conference. I highly recommend you looking for that on YouTube because it was amazing. He made everyone so happy, not only because he's in the game, but also because he was in E3. And then memes also happened, for example, the one Scap just mentioned that you are breathtaking because people were like shocked that Keanu was in front of them out of nowhere. So it was a very nice moment and everyone should try finding the, the part of it on, on YouTube. Not only the part of it on YouTube, but also reactions. Because I love to look for people reacting to those things. And I have watched people being crazy for Keanu Reeves, people being crazy for Fantasy Star Online 2. And then also, yesterday I was watching a compilation of people reacting to Banjo-Kazooie, which was amazing. So go check the, those moments out. He's... He's great. Uh, we come for the gameplay, we stay for the gaming news. I tried my best to talk about the gaming news. Although I'm not like the most reliable source every time. But I do try to, to keep you guys updated about some things. Uh, by the way, this is not where I wanted to go. Never mind, it is. Uh, it is, but not this corner, right? Yes, I'm a little bit lost, but it, it is around here. Yeah, it's in here. There we go. You can't wait for Bill and Ted 3? I didn't know there was a, a new movie. You always think of Keanu Reeves as Ted? He's Neo to me. Even after all the other work he has done, I still need to watch... How is it called? Oh my god, John Wick? I hope it is called John Wick. Some friends have been telling me, because I was also talking to them about Keanu Reeves, some people were telling me, those friends were telling me that those movies, the John Wick movies are amazing and I should watch them. Even though I never felt that those movies would be appealing to me to watch them. But my friends said, no, it's great, go watch them. Maybe I will. So you guys have watched John Wick? It is the newest stuff, they are excellent movies. Yeah, I, I, I guess I need to check them out then, because I was thinking, no, but is this only about a professional killer and, and that's it? That doesn't sound like a very good movie for me to watch. But then, now that people are saying it's great, maybe I should give it a shot. Uh, they are just pure badassery. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, because I don't know if I would like to just watch a movie like that. But everyone says it's great, so I can totally give it a shot. I hope that's not like a spoiler scap. I hope the dogs are safe in that movie. You just watched it, he's breathtaking, isn't he amazing? He's amazing. He even stopped what he was doing. To just kind of hang out with the crowd, right? He's amazing. And then he was like, but guys, I need to finish what I have to say here. He's also very cute. So that was like out of nowhere. And it was one of the most magical moments on E3. It's not mindless killing or anything. You like, you like it? I'm sure of it. I will try. I will try to watch it. Yeah. But I don't think it is on Netflix, so it's going to be harder for me to watch it. But I will see. I need to watch John Wick. 
I need to watch The Favorite. I won't be watching Hereditary anymore to dancing because I don't think I, I'm prepared for it. I also need to watch One Punch Man, I still haven't watched it. Speaking about that, was the second season of One Punch Man already out? Because, in my opinion, the best moment for me to start watching One Punch Man is when the second season is out, so I can watch the whole thing in one single shot, right? No, 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 not that one, but I do have my, my places. I talked you out of it, I meant to be the other way around. Yes, you talked out of me. Wait, you talked me out of it. Yes, you talked me out of it. Now I'm more scared. I don't think I, I'm going to to feel alright with the creepiness and disturbing things of that movie after what you told me. Now I'm a cardless chicken when I hear about hereditary. So I need to find bravery somewhere. We have to save Pietro? Yes, you're right, we promised. I should be able to save him now, let's go. Oh, most of season 2 is out? Are they releasing a single episode per week? You're waiting for it to finish yourself? Yeah, that's what I also would prefer doing. Though you have watched the first season? Yeah, the first season has been out for some time, so it's, it's understandable. But I will only start everything when the second season is complete. Uh, where, where is Pietro, by the way? He's not at the top, because at the top I'm expecting to find the, the dragons. Never mind, the, the guy is also not here. Oh wait, I know, Pietro is inside the inn. Yeah guys, in the end... The side quest, uh, the, the talk on the chat, made it get super late now. It's not worth for us to, to go to the Tower of Salvation tonight. Are they inside this door? Pietro? This is not Pietro. Pietro is? Uh, the other angels can talk. Why is just Colette that wound up like this? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're always talking like you know everything. Don't you even know of a way to save Colette? And maybe that the Chosen's role is to save the world in exchange for giving up her humanity. What? How can you talk like that? How can you be so cold? Thank you, Sheena. I, I appreciate your words there, because Rainy has been super cold. It's not that I care about Colette any less, but if she doesn't become an angel, the world will be destroyed. What about you? Didn't you come here? Oh my god.
Nobody's writing here. Everyone is wrong. So I shouldn't be judging Rain because Sheena is also not doing a good thing. I mean, it's relative. It is good for her. Not for the others. Oh, they are here? Everyone, the healing technique! We found it. I'm going to try it now, alright? Yes, please. Resurrection! Where am He woke up! Thank goodness! Sophia, then I reached him up? Yes, Pietro, Sheena, she saved you. Yes, I remember. After leaving Luwin, I was attacked by the Zions. Then she... Thank you so much! Oh, don't mention it. And besides, the reason you regained consciousness is because of Rain here. If you are going to thank someone, thank her. Oh, I see. Thank you so much. Now I can't wait. I can't await the Chosen? I, I can't await the Chosen? What does he mean by that? Sabru says, to wait for what? Wasn't he... He wasn't dead, so he could need to be resurrected. That's true. He was just... Weakened. The Chosen? What do you mean? The reason I broke out of the range was because I have something I need to tell the Chosen. If you're looking for the Chosen, she's right here. It doesn't make sense, it's a bad translation? Yeah, maybe they wanted to, to link the, the magic use to that side quest. But also to the battles, right? Because in battle, it's going to make sense uh, to resurrect the KO'd party members. But for some reason, they decided to go for a whole side quest in order to get that. And for the, set, the side quest, it's not making too much sense. You get where they were going for, though? Yeah, it is a very powerful healing magic. But I still think they should be separate things. Uh, you are the chosen? Oh, Goddess Martel, thank, thank you. Goddess, huh, man? The designs are trying to revive something called the Angelus Project. Yes, we started listening or hearing some things about that. They are also developing a weapon called the Mana Cannon. We also heard some things about that as well. Mana Cannon? Do you mean Thor's Hammer from the Ancient War? I don't know the details, and once again this goes into Nordic mythology. They are using things called Exospheres in these sinister experiments. Or experiments. Uh, please stop this Angelus project with the power of the Chosen and save us all. Relax, we defeated Kivar, and we rescued the people who were held captive. Where are those people though? I don't know where they found shelter. Hi Pokefan, welcome! And hey Nightmare, are you there? How's it going? It's because of that duo you had. You are going to leave, Pilot? Alright man, have a great one, have a great sleep. No, wait, what? Don't be sorry, come on. Uh, I appreciate you being here, it was nice to talk, to talk to you again. Also, I believe that you may be returning to Canada soon, right? So please... Pilot, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Scab. Thank you so much, man. So, I, I wish you a, a great return, a safe trip. But also enjoy the last days in Alaska. 
And I'm happy to hear that earlier today you could also go to the to the animal. How's it called? The animal. It's not a zoo. It's not a refugee either. The animal care house? I don't know how it's called, but enjoy your trip, man. You only came here because he was here? That's that's fine. Wildlife Conservation Center. There we go. It's not restoration. It's not refugee. It's conservation. And I hope someday I can see those animals as well. I don't think I've ever seen a bear or a deer. I have been to the zoo before, but I was super young, so I don't have many memories of it. I do have a funny story about going to the zoo though, but it's not something that happened to me, it happened to my sister. In Brazil, especially in Rio, or in Rio, there used to be this monkey that he became very famous because he loved to throw poop on people. Yeah, that monkey used to throw poop on people. And everyone in Rio used to know him, or many people were victims of that monkey, including my sister. And then, yeah, unfortunately, that monkey passed, up, passed away. But, yeah, my sister was one of the victims of that monkey. So yeah, I remember monkeys, I remember elephants, lion. There was this day that we had penguins in the zoo, it was like a crazy day. I think I have seen the penguins as well, but I can't remember. But I remember the hype. I remember everyone being hyped to see the penguins. I don't remember seeing wolves like Pilot did. There are many animals that I still need to see. I remember seeing hippos, a giraffe, some birds like parrots. I don't know if you guys know... I actually don't know the name of this bird in English, if there is one. Yes, <laughs> yes, Scab Pilot just gift you a sub. But I need to go back to the zoo, although the zoo in Rio has been very left behind uh, it's been breaking or getting bre getting broke it's been getting broke uh, is that true I knew we could count on the chosen but I'm concerned about the mana cannon yeah but we won't get anywhere powdering it here could this technique be used to save Clara as well Yes, I'm sure we will be able to save that poor woman when we have the time. So we saved him, but are they not going to... Why is it because of you that Louie is destroyed? I want to use this life that you saved to rebuild Louie. Oh, maybe that's the effect of our actions. I was starting to wonder, what was the point of saving him, besides saving him? So he may be able to, re to rebuild Louie. I apologize for my behavior, I was not aware that you were the Chosen's group. The Chosen is even more wonderful than I thought. Okay, so now we should wait until he does something about Louis. But I just realized something else that maybe Subaru will be able to to get it to. Sometimes in this game I have been comparing it to Xenogears. And Xenogears had a very tall tower that was Babel's tower, and this game also has one, that is the Tower of Regeneration, probably our next destination, uh, next weekend. 
but they just have been talking about a cannon. And if my memory is right, the tower in Xenogears also had a cannon. I remember a part in there that we were trying to activate a cannon. So, if this cannon that they were they are talking about in here, if that cannon is in the tower, that's another coincidence. So guys, uh, let me see if there is someone that I can host. And I'm really hungry, so I can't keep going with the stream. Yeah, I'll be hosting Draco again. He's he's playing no card of time tonight. And I'm glad that I could give you guys some news regarding the E3, especially the ones regarding the Fantasy Star Online 2 game. Yeah, Saburo knows or remembers the Xenogears part. In Xenogears, the tower had some mirrors that you use it to reflect. Oh! You're right, the cannon was not on the tower, but we used the tower as a way to deflect or to reflect. The the cannon sh shot, right? The cannon shot. Yeah, that's true. But let's see what's going to happen regarding the cannon in this game. I have the feeling all of those mysteries that are going to be revealed to us or more explained to us in details when we get to the Tower of Restoration. That there there is definitely going to happen a plot twist in there. Because they need to keep this game going on, since, according to people, we are still in the very beginning. But we have been pretty much everywhere we could, so... Plot twist next weekend for sure. You still can't wait for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles 2? You know something that surprised me about that game? A friend of mine told me something that I didn't realize. That it seems that F Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is also coming for, the, for mobile. So, I know that it's much better for everyone to play games on, on consoles or on portables, but Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on mobile is not that bad. Because that's a game that you can play with friends, and in case your friends they don't have the consoles, everyone is going to have this. So, my friend was particularly hyped because they are releasing Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles for mobile, so he thinks that it's going to be easy for him to find some friends and play the game together. So yeah, I, I was like, really? They announced that? I, I totally missed it. So yeah, if you don't have the console, go for the mobile for this game. Not for every, every game, because many mobile games, they suck. But this one may actually work, I think. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is great for online multiplayer. Honestly, I can only imagine myself playing it if I don't have friends to play it with me. Because of everything that everyone says about it. Uh, you wish they would do it for Four Swords Adventures too? I think they should, especially with the Switch, right? Uh, the Switch is such a good console for you to have those co-op uh, games, like Four Swords Adventures. Or, I don't know, Triforce Heroes as well. We, we need to get something like that soon, hopefully. The Switch is per perfect for those games. Yeah, that does sound awesome. Maybe I, I will see if my friends are, are interested to play Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles with me. But then I also need to wait for the price of it. I don't know how expensive is it going to be. But yeah, guys. Uh, that's it for tonight. Let me go cook my no my omelette. And next Friday, hopefully, I can be streaming Roller Coaster Tycoon and Transistor again. And then Tails is back on next Saturday. And like I said, hopefully, crazy things are going to happen since we are very close to a very 
import important plot uh, point, right? So thank you so much everyone for stopping by. Have a great night. Take care. Also have a great week. And go check the, the things I was saying before, like Keanu Reeves on E3, Fantasy Star Online 2. Go check those things out on YouTube. And good night.